come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey there! Hey. You've stumbled uh, upon the most exciting night of like the week. Them. <laughs> At least in our week. It's the most yes. exciting night of everyone's week. It's Saturday. Hey. It's the most exciting time of my week. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. I love you all. Uh, this is a book club for movies where four of us gather in a dank, dark basement, talk about movies uh, that are chosen round robin by the group. Who are these internet radio superstars? Hallie. Michaela. <laughs> 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 Holly's will to I'm live sorry, Holly. has that? been sounded out. so withering. Yeah. Just uh, like, Holly. Yeah. Holly, Holly, I guess. Uh, I'm Sean. <laughs> and I'm Colin. Holly, and, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You good? Oh, do I do I need to like? I'm on no sleep. Yeah. You're like you're like Christ, yeah. sleep, no yeah. sleep. sleep. <laughs> Kramer and the chicken roaster no. episode of Seinfeld, right? I, f- I feel like I need to like Holly, make a statement. No, Holly, no, Holly gave up caffeine. A disclaimer I gave, for this I gave episode. up caffeine and alcohol and, and alcohol, and then I made her watch Shocking Dark. So, so uh, this is gonna. So there it is. Yeah, I made her my, watch my propel water is not really doing. No, it's not propelling you. It's not propelling you. A better life. You are not jettisoned into excitement and wonder and no truth in advertising. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well uh, before we get into it, let's. Uh, this is also the episode we're going to talk about the Halloween trailer because it's a big event this That's year. We're horror fans, and that hap- came out uh, today as you were recording this. You're listening to it a week later, so you know. Hopefully, this is still relevant to you. You want to hear so. about? They're not going to have anything new in a week. No. That's right. Yep. Uh, so we'll talk about that after the show. Uh, so stick with us. And we also want to remind you, if you want to get a hold of us, you can uh, follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can tweet at us. At Sat Freak Show. That's on Twitter. Uh, you can also email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can follow along on Instagram for the time of your life. It's Saturday Night Freak Show. So tonight, we well, this has already been given away. We watched the movie that was chosen by Sean. Sean. <laughs> Oh, that was accusatory. <laughs> there was a lot of blame in that. I that even naming. pointed a little bit. Right, she did. <laughs> like that guy. That, uh-huh. Fuck that guy. Well, what uh, what is this? Uh, the reason for all the scorn? What did we watch tonight? Uh, we watched uh, Terminator Two. All right, we watched. I wish. Uh, we I'm watched, watched, sorry. What did we watch? We watched Alienators. <laughs> Alien. Try again. Alien. Oh, I'm sorry. We watched. How would we know this? How would our listeners know this movie? You they know wouldn't. this. They <laughs> they wouldn't. Wouldn't only know one. This only one would know this movie. <laughs> this movie we watched tonight was Shocking Dark. But you're making all these uh, allusions to other films because because it's an Italian ripoff movie that was released uh, <coughs> throughout. I'm going to say Europe because it was never released here. As a sequel to Terminator called Terminator Two, sometimes known as Terminator Two: Shocking Dark, mm-hmm. sometimes known as Alienators. And the cover art looks suspiciously like the Terminator. It shows a uh, little bit. Arnold Schwarzenegger it's looking a dude guy with in shades. His, uh, yeah, yeah, face missing. It's got that cover to it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, and we should talk about who directed this movie. It was credited to a Victor Dawn. Mm-hmm. Is that right? But that is clearly a pseudonym for for uh, a man named Bruno Mattei. I don't think he ever went under his. Real name when he directed the movie it was always Victor Dawn, or he's had a few aliases over the years. Is that like the Italian equivalent of like an Alan, Alan Smithy movie? No, is it like I don't a fake know why name? he didn't use his real name? I think it, I don't know, maybe it had to do with uh, selling these movies overseas or, or when he tried to sell these to America and everything just to have a more. The Italians Victor, always uh, did that though. Whenever yeah. they made a, an Italian movie, because even. Unless you're you know, one of the big ones like Fulci or. or no, Bob Fulci, or something. Like, did they, Fulci was uh, Louis Fuller or something like that, I think, when he made the Beyond. Yeah, um, yeah, and there was so, who's uh, Cozy? Was yeah, it? Luigi Cozy. Luigi was, Cozy, uh, yeah. Louis Coates? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. They all anglicized their names yeah. basically for. Uh, made it more palatable. Mm. It's like, oh, I don't want to watch some dumb Italian movie. Oh, yeah. Louis Coates? I'll watch that movie. Because people were paying attention to directors back then. It's just weird that nobody saw this movie outside of uh, Italy or Europe. 
No. Well, it was clearly intended for import over here. It just never actually made it because it has a lot of American uh, actors, mm -hmm. which uh, that's why I was saying you can tell the vintage of this movie by 1989 because it's it was, actually it uh, around and smell it like <laughs> ah, that's sort of an oaky afterbirth. <laughs> there you go. That's, sorry, it, that is kind of the way that it goes with uh, with films, right? You can go like, hmm, they're actually recording sync sound in, yeah. in Italy. This is uh, yeah, this is new. The this is an, uh, they're uh, Italy's on an it's a new technology. Logical Marvel for yeah, Italy. There's a guy recording he, sound he, on set. He has an Italian accent in an Italian movie. Who would have thought of that? But they only have the budget to mic up like three people at a time. That's why everybody Most else people is are yelling. not mic'd and they're yelling. And they're like, yeah. 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 Hello. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> you can also hear the HVAC system at most points most in this movie. You points, can hear yes. the background noise of that AC running. All well, the time. to be fair, we did watch this movie on YouTube. Thank you very much, Sean. So, well, well, you were talking about vintage. I wanted you to yeah. get the correct vintage for this movie. So I'm going to use watch in quotation uh, marks. Yeah, that transfer yeah. was shit. Some pixels were <laughs> we transmitted read on screen, screen. Yeah. and we looked at it. We could not read the credits. No, could, we, no, could not we read really a single they, fucking credit. They were at the end red. Yeah, they were red. <laughs> they were red. I don't know. I hadn't seen the movie. I hadn't seen this movie before. This is always something that's been on my radar uh, as far back. How? Think, Why? How? <laughs> <laughs> because Dom mentioned it. Uh, in listener Dom. I, re listener Dom I refused mentioned to turn against him and blame. No, him no, this. I'm not going to blame him. This is, no, this is all my fault. Uh, I won't blame Dom. But John mentioned it a year, probably like a year and a half ago in Mailbag. But I realized that I had heard of it and skimmed through it on YouTube before that, like a couple years before that. So I had seen some version of this. And I knew that it existed and I knew what they did, that they took, you know, Terminator and they took aliens and they're just like, fuck it, we're going to rip it off. And they made Shocking Dark. <laughs> so I knew of the movie and I knew it existed. And it just recently by uh, Severn Films got released on Blu-ray. They went through and they cleaned this movie up and they released this I, on Blu-ray. I'm seeing a pattern here. Wasn't Severn Films also, also Kathy's Curse? Yes. Yeah, I think How so. dare you, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay Are they paying you or no. something? Like, Do you I, have a secret sponsorship we don't know about? No, I just like, follow a lot of people on Twitter who talk about obscure horror movies. I'm okay, like, well, this is two it. strikes now. Uh, Are you going to go so. for a third? <laughs> Come on, we had fun with Kathy's Curse. There were Did the we? snakes and spiders. I would rather watch that than to watch this. walking out of buildings for no reason. And old dudes... And your mother's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah. That was great, as far as I'm concerned. Well, maybe if we would have seen a cleaned up version of Shocking Probably. Dark, I didn't, had a better again, impression. I hadn't seen it, and I was this close to getting the Blu-ray, and was like, yeah, fuck it, maybe it'll be good, and I'll just keep it and everything. <laughs> oh, that would have been Woo! great. That would have been great if you paid I wish money you would have spent money on this. Yeah. I wish you would have. <laughs> yeah. I wish you would have too. God, I don't think I would have wanted Hell, to see those monsters daggers. <laughs> like, no, like, you motherfucker. Well, I went because remember, I actually paid money for fucking Island of Dr. Moreau so we wouldn't have to watch it on YouTube. And that was actually a decent YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sean. Yeah. <laughs> it's like watching a VHS. <laughs> Back no, in the old it's days. not. That was like watching a VHS where all the tracking is fucked. Like that. Well, I didn't see any lines on this. One. This was. In it was just out of focus for the whole movie. Yeah. Instead. No, we're, we're gonna watch a movie were, like that. Yeah, later there this were summer. five <laughs> pixels in that entire picture. Yeah. Well, that's our fault, listener. I'm sure you're watching it in crystal clear, high definition. I hope not, yeah. because that no, means restored. they paid for it. Well, let's tell them whether or not they should watch this movie. So, uh, so this is it's from 1989. So this is pre Terminator 2, like yes. the actual Judgment Day. Right. Yes. Okay. Clearly, uh, the Italians have this gift for taking uh, anything that's sci-fi, fantasy, or horror that was made in the United States and ripping it ripping off. Ripping it the fuck off. They're I like thought... Asylum, but more shameless. I was going to say, it's like those, like when you go to Walmart and you see the DVDs. They're, this for is the like, mockbusters of the yeah, day. Yeah, for like the Revengers, you know? Yeah. like And like, mm -hmm. like, okay, so those... I, I, I'm fascinated with this business. So they are they banking on like your elderly grandma just doesn't know any better and is going to buy that for you for Christmas, right? right? Yeah, you like that's what it has to be, like, right? Oh, this is it. Or the people who don't know any better or don't care and they're just like that looks cool. Yeah, I can't wait until this comes out. Let's have right. this and to tide me over, right? Because I've noticed they've started popping up on Netflix now too and stuff. Oh, yeah. And so I'm wondering if you like if they're ground. just hoping for like a quick glance that you'll like put in your queue or something. You know? Sure. Like, or they'll get confused mm -hmm. and be like, yeah, because there's people who will watch those movies and just think, yeah, I saw that movie. 
They think they saw the I can't imagine movie living like that. I cannot <laughs> I imagine can't living either. like that. That's <laughs> that what I'm saying. It has to be for the angry. elderly, right? Like I that's why like yeah, I have to rationalize it by being like, they talk about these Avengers and dumb people out there. Like dumb people are. I guess I'm just so aware of like what's constantly happening in the movie industry that I can't imagine accidentally buying a knockoff. Like I can't lovely to be that just clueless, ign- ignorant clueless. of movies to like get this stuff, watch it, and then just be happy. Wouldn't it be great to be happy? To just I like, can't imagine that they're happy. <laughs> they are, Colin. I promise you, they are. I want not you to wa- show not me. If they watch this movie. Oh, <laughs> we need, we need a, uh, we need like an actual sample from the world out there of someone who has actually watched one of these things. Nick, in te- well, in- Nick Hammond. Unintentionally, yeah, but there are people who seek out, like us, I suppose, a bad movie. Yeah, Nick does it for the yeah. fun of it, which is why you know that's why there's the whole ironic thing of getting the Revengers. But <laughs> so we do do we do street interviews now, or we just yeah. go talk to guys on the street? It's like, yeah. well, we can just we can harness the power of the internet and ask you, good listener, what do you if think you about Transformers? Anybody, tell us a story of someone who's seen Transformers, thinking it was Transformers, and tell us how happy they are because we love. Think about we the would Wolf love to Man. talk to them. There was a Suicide Squad. One. I don't remember what it was called, but it was it yeah. was hilarious. Like well, the cover the, alone was what's the su- like the Swedish Avengers one where there's like a big wolf. Doll. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, like yeah. A, that's yeah. Russian. That's an yeah. actual thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know the time. I don't know either. I kind of want to watch it. Fox Force lo- Six. Yeah, not at all. It looks actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks ridiculous. It's like it a, does. Like it's I like kind of want to watch it. Bear and shit. Yeah, Bear Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. Okay, all right, so, so we're all going to watch that, right? Yeah, we should yeah. probably watch that. <laughs> yeah. That's a freak show movie, probably. That's how you yeah. get us all to watch it. Yeah. Just bring it here. That's not a bad idea. Um, might go on my list. So, Shocking Dark. <laughs> we knew what it was called. Yeah. Uh, this dark. movie takes place in Venice of the future, yes. where some kind of catastrophic event has occurred. and uh, The seaweed is killing the yeah. water, Colin. It says so <laughs> yeah. in the opening narration. It, okay, the, I'm which a, Sean I'm a, made us rewind. I did because Colin didn't hear it, and it's you have to hear it. You have to know that the seaweed you, is a big problem okay. in the future. You couldn't just repeat it. No, you no. had to rewind it. You had to rewind it. Uh, I was reading the Korean subtitles, so I had. You were you reading them? You can read Korean now. Uh, you can read Korean. I couldn't Korean. remember Korean. what they said, I had no so idea we had to go back. Second language. I can for read you. Braille. I can read Korean. <laughs> I'm multi <laughs> and a little bit of Klingon ish. Yeah. A small bit of Klingon. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with this intro because it's got like it's got like David Attenborough type narration. Yeah. But it's over like are you guys familiar with that Chris Nolan movie following? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's you know famous for actually filming people just walking on the street without their consent or whatever. Nice. That's what this looks like. Mm-hmm. These people did not know they were was. in a movie. Yeah. This looks like like I'm not even convinced that the people who were in the movie knew they were in <laughs> no, 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 no. No, nah, Goretta, Goretta. She did not. Uh, this is some, <laughs> she did not know. Some gorilla footage in the intro here, though, of just yeah. people walking around. I assume some square in Venice. It's it's mostly the only time that the movie is going to get out of its uh, main set, mm. which is apparently a nuclear Three reactor hallways or something in an oil refinery. All right, so let's set this up in your mind, listener. Imagine a hallway with a bunch of piping going down the ceiling or on the walls. Uh, it turn off most of the lights, turn on a couple of blue lights, pump a little smoke in there, and boom, atmosphere. You've got yourself a futuristic corridor. That's it. And we're going to shoot the shit out of it with our cameras for 90 minutes. Every if that angle. means, yeah, you're going to shoot it from different angles. You're going to have them go down the hall, then we're going to turn the camera around, they're going to go up the hall. And we're, we're going to go down the hall again. And we're going to do it in real time because we're milking the shit out of this location. Yeah. And we've got it so awesome. How long was this movie? 90 minutes. How long did it feel? <laughs> so I feel like I'm longer. still watching. What? Yeah. So much I mean. <laughs> it's one of those movies that bleeds over like Videodrome. You're not sure that the movie yeah, has yeah. ended. We could still be watching it for all we know. Mm-hmm. Good and guy. it feels like it could have ended like six times by now, but it's still yeah. still barreling past mm-hmm. those natural endings. Yeah, you got to pan it out. You got to get that whole 90 minutes in there because, you know, otherwise it's not a movie. Yeah. Well, you know, it is a good movie. Aliens. <laughs> and I feel kind of. That is a good movie, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> so it took the best parts of Aliens and put it in this movie. I don't think I have ever seen. I mean, like I've seen these Italian ripoff movies, yeah. but usually they're like your 
is yeah. to Conan. Well, or, I was you know, thinking, something. Yeah, I was thinking of yours as well while watching some like that. The, felt so much more high budget than this movie, it, and it, I can't he believe I'm saying that. Triceratops <laughs> and drinks its blood. Oh, God. Your head action figures and felt more expensive. Than yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. did. <laughs> This is one of the lowest budgeted things I think that we have ever watched. I mean, I'm convinced that they shot this movie in like seven days or something. Oh, it feels like, like it. Have. Because there's no, there's there's not a very heavy reliance on close-ups. Nope. Uh, it seems like every shot is one take. If you fuck a line up, it doesn't matter. You just keep going. You, just, you I, as demonstrated on screen, we see several line trips and people stepping on each other's lines mm-hmm. left and right in this fucking movie. Yeah, everything was one take. I just tried to Google shocking dark. I almost Googled shocking fart. Uh, oh, shocking ew, fart. Ew. And that might have been better. Mm. I hope you have your safe search on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, is it 90 minutes? That's what you're looking 90 up. 90 minutes. I was looking up the budget, but I don't think they're going to tell the me. The budget. Do you think you can it find anything says, about this like movie on the internet? Good luck finding yeah. that budget. I tried to find the budget for Samurai Cop, and they basically no, laughed at me. It's, <laughs> it's They're not going to tell you me. You know, no. when this started and it came up Victor Dunn, I asked Sean, well, the movie starts. I'm like, you, you know who that is? That's a pseudonym, right? You know who that is? He's like, oh, yeah. He's saving it for later on, and I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be one of them fucking moments where he's going to go, and it was Amir Sherb and the director of Samurai Cop, mate. This is one of his other movies. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, the only connection that might um, be of some uh, import is uh, the the person who (laughs) co—I say co-wrote this movie, co-stole this movie, (laughs) co-ripped off, um, was uh, Claudio Fragasso, who directed Troll 2. (laughs) <laughs> oh wow, that's what I think. We're wrote and direct with? control too, <laughs> so that's the ballpark we're uh, working in that's, right now. That's what we're dealing with. Yeah. Wow, this so is I'm, what I'm afraid of is that this is going to turn you guys off of like whenever I'm like, yeah, you got an Italian movie. Oh, I'm already, like, oh, I'm, I'm already, this I'm already, yeah, yeah, yeah right. off of two, two strikes right now. Yeah, I'm yeah, so I may have, I, you, in I may have heard the Italian movies. No, your, your was awesome. Okay. Cemetery Man was the first fucking. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There was somebody in this movie who was also in Cemetery Man. The, I think the crazy the crazy dude um, who was uh, shooting at them earlier, yeah. he's in Cemetery Man. I think he's the fat dude who can't speak. Well, I would have... No, he's not. No, he's that's not. That's that's guy he's somebody, guy. That's he's somebody guy. in Cemetery Man. Yeah. That's another connection. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I don't even know what, what state the Italian film industry is in, like, right now. I mean, they don't <sighs> seem to... I mean, I, I'm blanking out on, like, anything that they produce, at least in the yeah. genre. Yeah. They may be doing some like art house dramas or something like that of uh, you know, marriage is crumbling. Uh, oh, I'm sure the they're putting out their Oscar kind of bait. Yeah. yeah, but you know, well, beyond sure. that, I'm sure. No, you know, nothing, nothing like this else. anymore. No, it, they're well, recording. What a shame. They're reco- I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're recording sound. I now. wonder why they're not doing stuff How like this was anymore. There not a fucking lawsuit, and maybe there was. Maybe that's why we never got this movie in the United States. But it never got released. Is that's why they. Uh, that's why they. Uh, Fuck! What was I going to say? That's why it. Never, that's why it never got released in the United States. That's why it was shocking dark. Because of a lawsuit. Well, yeah. The I mean, obviously, there's a precedent with the Italians just taking a you know like existing movie like Dawn of the Dead, which was zombie over there. Yeah. And they just said, "Here's Zombie Two. You know. Yeah. So you can just do that. You can make uh, here's uh, Terminator Two or Jaws. Jaws Two. They did. They was did that, that to Jaws? Uh, Jaws of Death or something no, like that? It was called Cruel Jaws. Cruel Jaws. Cruel Jaws is yeah. just a compilation of uh, footage from Jaws movies and a couple other shark movies that they released as uh, Jaws 5, Cruel Jaws. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> My brother brought that up today, unrelated to any of oh, what we were oh, talking shit. about. Oh, boy. Oh, so this had, is a Tyler thing, it. huh? Yeah. You guys like your... <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a Tyler thing. You guys thing. like your shitty Italian movies, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's that's true. I was very high. Like I'm shocked now. you mentioned it this all makes today sense now. because we're watching this tonight. Yeah. Um. So the movie does basically borrow. Basically, it basically borrows, steals, blatantly rips off all the major beats of the movie Aliens. So all the bad ones. How do we set this up? This is uh. So there's got a, Mega Force. We got Mega Force, right? Which is uh, the the equivalent of the Space Marines, mm-hmm. although they're not in space. The Colonial Marines. The Colonial Marines. Yeah, whatever. I mean, come on. That's why Aliens is so awesome, right? It's like it spawned all these, like, anything that has Space Marines, like, yeah. uses technology, it's terminology. from Aliens. From Aliens. Um, we're going to bed for a second. Um, you know, I'm getting there. <laughs> 
Um, but the idea is so they don't have to they, they have to go into an area where uh, an infection or something. I'm not even fucking sure what I, happened yeah, in that. Movie. Sure, you know what? Keep going because it <laughs> okay. sounds great. Yeah, whatever you make up like, probably really? happened. <laughs> okay, so we, well, we'll agree maybe that there has been some kind of ca- catastrophe in Venice. Yeah, or that's Defin- established. that it definitely has yeah. happened. Venice is connected to wherever the hell they are in the safe zone by an underground tube that was made by the Tubular Corporation. <laughs> tubular Corp. <laughs> Naturally. Yep. Yep. Because and they're so, in tubes. Which yes, it's a tube. It's yeah, a tube. it's an underground underwater tube, which that, we never. That makes sense. The, yeah. the name of that. Have you guys ever seen No Holds Barred? The, yes. the Hulk Hogan movie. Yes. Okay, yeah. absolutely. So that movie is famous for its like <laughs> it's like oh, generic sure. names. Ooh, please bring it. I'm good. Uh, no. uh, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's, <laughs> it is prime freak show material. Thank you. But that like that movie. The thing I remember most about it is like it has the most generic names for everything. Like Tubular Corporation. Like Hulk Hogan has a charity called Sports for Kids. <laughs> Yeah, and like yeah, yeah. and like the TV network he works at is World News Network. Yeah, 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 and there's yeah, yeah. um wait hold on there's one more. <laughs> um, the battle that he fights in like the wrestling yeah. tournament is called Battle of the Tough Guys. <laughs> so like it's like got the right most like generic the titles. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he'll get his ass sued by Vince McMahon if he even <laughs> comes close to calling it anything. Oh yeah, he's not even called Hulk, and then he's he's Rip. <laughs> Even better. Well, it's rip. Not even better. It rip. 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 <laughs> but but the Nick tubular corporations. <laughs> okay. I'm Rip. You Rip, I'm, sure. rip Clark? Yeah. So, in this movie. <laughs> Shocking dark. The, well, yeah, because we're yeah. 20 minutes in, the, the listeners are dying that. to know Wandering what this in the whole about. The story. So, Shocking they're going to go through this underground tube. Well, who's going to go? It's a group of... Uh, of are they Marines? The Megaforce. People who have shotguns. Plus a scientist who is basically your Ripley character, because she yeah. wears a flight suit for no fucking reason yeah. except yeah. because mm-hmm. she looks like Ripley if she yep. does. Yeah, yep. exactly. Uh, and then your shifty representative of the company who fills in for Bishop, uh, also uh, Burke, and eventually, am I spoiling this for you? No. The Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Colin? <laughs> the Terminator? But there are aliens in this movie. Well, there are. And for the longest part of its running time, it is an alien uh, homage, pastiche, yeah. ripoff. Yeah. Ripoff. Yeah. yeah. Ripoff. But it's amazing, like, when you see these scenes, to me, it was kind of like, uh, you know, when you're, like, say, 10 years old and you get the family camcorder or something, you see aliens in the theater and you're blown away by it it's and you're like, like... I can recreate that. And so you find, you you know, you find, like, a, whatever, a, a boiler room or something that looks vaguely like... Right, you're thing. just like, you sneak into a different part of your school and you're just yep. like, I mm-hmm. can do it here. Yeah, and we're going to make aliens. Yeah. And so you remember the scenes from aliens and so you do all the scenes from aliens but it, it, that's like that's nice when you're you, know, you find ten. the old Halloween costumes and you're, you have your friend running around with those like werewolf hands on uh huh yeah, yeah. Oh, like yeah. A rubber mask and yeah. just he's like, the alien yeah. but he's wearing a hoodie yeah, yeah. There are, like that. but you have the gloves like this. tucked into the hoodie right, yeah. though you know yeah. like, you can't see the scenes on that so it's just like a claw comes in. All of this is kind of adorable when you're 10 or 13, when in they're 30 years old. Some people old, never get over that, Colin. Some people around. still think it's adorable. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. As evidenced by this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Sean. I've never Holly's seen still sh- shooting, dar- uh, shooting dark. She's shooting dark? She's shooting, shooting dark at me. Dark. Shooting darts. Terminator 2, shooting darts. Um. So there are aliens in this. No, they're creatures. There's masks in this movie and hands. Well, they were like full, yeah, they, slimy... Do, do they ever... I'm sorry. Do they ever like determine what these things actually are? Yes. When does that happen? During the exposition dump scene. Which, Would you which like, one? Which one? Okay, God. so... I may have drifted a couple times. That's watching okay this because movie. how the well dare you? <laughs> well, the the pro, one of the biggest problems of uh, you know a movie when you're trying to put something together like this is there's constantly uh, like somebody reacting to something, mm-hmm. but they don't have the cutaway shot that it that shows you what they're reacting to. Yeah. So you know someone's like, oh my god, look at how hideous that thing is, but we never cut over to it. Uh, the scene with Bishop. Someone's the, going, uh, you're right, it is. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it's terrible. Or uh, 
the Seymour Bishop's looking through the microscope and like, what are you looking at there, Bishop? I, whatever this character's name was. Yeah. Hunter, it was Samuel, Samuel Fuller, Fuller, the yeah. director, Samuel Fuller. Fuller, right? The guy who directed Big Red yeah. One, which was on the show. Um, all comes back around. Yeah, and they never show what he's looking at. Yeah, they you never, never show know. what he's looking at. So in the exposition Because there's scene, nothing there, Colin. They are at a computer terminal where Fuller, the cyborg scientist, determines that, oh my God, the Tubular Corporation was working on a genetic right, thing. Right, I that, remember that. Like a floppy disk, yes. if it gets in your computer, <laughs> the computer being you. And yeah. we're the computer. Yeah. It'll turn you into big slime. Because he kept monster. going on and on, and then finally one character was like, what does it mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I do he, remember that. Okay. And she explains it's, everything. She's like, all right, what are you saying? A scene <laughs> where that actor... Say it again. A scene where, as Colin pointed out, that actor was clearly reading his lines off the, off the, off computer. the computer. Off the computer, yeah. yeah. Who was that fucking guy? Was he like the... Ca- he wasn't a captain. The guy who's back in the Preston? control center... Preston? I think his name is Preston. Who, who they just keep cutting to momentarily to be like, what's going on? It's like, hello! Hell, is anyone there? What the hell's going on? Cut away. <laughs> Cut this back. is the guys who sent them on the mission yeah. that are hanging out in the control center <laughs> yeah. of the uh, the nuclear power plant. Yeah, yeah or basically, something. yes. But yeah. that guy chooses, like William Shatner, <laughs> the weirdest fucking pauses in his dialogue. It's brilliant. I have a theory. An brilliant? Actorly choice. When you go through the door you'll find yeah. things that are on the other side i have a theory everyone else is stepping all over each other's lines so much that he's like i'm just gonna gonna hang back a sec to make sure no one steps on top of my fucking line yeah but is it like i mean it doesn't play like he forgot what he was gonna say right no, because it's it like, seems like a choice it's like he's taking a, it's breath. a choice a brilliant actorly choice holly <laughs> A thing that distinguished him and made him stand out from his co-stars. There was the guy at the beginning, you remember, who was like running through oh, the hall screaming. Guy. He's like, "Hanging up!" I mean, he, the, that guy was very happy. He, he committed to the bit. He did. Yep. <laughs> best actor. I mean, who was the best in the actor in this movie? That guy. Please I tell think. me that. I think that guy. It, uh, everybody pretty much had their moment. <laughs> the lights have gone out. <laughs> He didn't like the. It's A-pone, curtains for us. A-pone, it's curtains uh, for us. Oh Somebody said curtains. <laughs> if we don't get out of here, in the fu- in the future, to be in exact, the right? Yeah. They don't have curtains in the future. Mm-hmm. I know. I've well, seen. and you're saying a phrase from like what the 30s, like carried over into at the, least the th- maybe you know in the 20s. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Well, we have Same. the uh, the um, Apone slash uh, Vasquez. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there somebody else that they combined there too? That's like a. She just goes like around a, calling yeah. everybody pussies. Basically. Gets into the race baiting thing oh, with the Italian yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. That scene. Oh, oh my god, I can't. That. I can't with that scene. Like she's in a. Okay, this <laughs> maybe reminded me of Tango and Cash because you remember in Tango and Cash they have that locker room where there's also a desk in an office, like yeah. in the locker room where like it seems like lazy set dressing. Okay, I mean, you know, I can, if this movie's gonna do it, I guess. Like it, we should hold Tango and Cash more accountable for that, right? Because like, like this movie has no money, right? But like Tango and Cash should not be doing the same We're set dressing same as this fucking movie. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but she just literally makes a circle around this locker room workout gym center, mm-hmm. just to nobody racially harass everyone and just yell yeah. at people. And yeah, sexually assault. Them. And sexually assault them. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a guy practicing with his nunchucks and another guy polishing a gun. Yeah. yeah, and you know what's interesting about that scene? Well, nobody turns many, around. Many things. Nobody turns around because those <laughs> yeah. are not the actors who are in the rest of the I don't movie. Know what's going on? But it's just like why, nobody turns around to acknowledge what's going. It be it would almost be a good like introductory scene for characters who are part of this team. Yeah, but nobody reacts to her. Like a guy gets slapped on the ass. He's like, eh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Tying his shoes. Yeah, the guy nunchucking has his back to the camera yeah. the whole time. Yep. I don't understand. Yeah. What, what? She's yelling at them too. This is the analog for the scene. Uh, on the drop ship in Aliens before we uh, go down to the planet. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's it's like three scenes in Aliens trying to combine into one. Yeah. We also get that great line uh, in that scene of just a small case of racial tension. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the surfer. Casual, yeah. casual racial tension. <laughs> casual racial yeah. tension from the surfer who's uh, been... Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, that's uh, Hudson. No, uh, surfer Hudson? No, that's... No, Hudson's the oh, you uh, Franzini. 
Oh, the, yeah? the very Italian dude, I think, is Hudson. I, I felt like I was watching Aliens while I was watching this movie because there was so much time in this movie. You, you did? Where yeah. there were scenes that uh, went on and on and on forever that I just was playing Aliens in my head. Yeah. And we even started quoting we Aliens at one about point. about Aliens here. Yeah, we were quoting the line before they'd say it in the movie, right. and then they'd say it in the movie. <laughs> God. It was brilliant. The whole, yeah, I mean, like scenes lifted. Yeah. I think. Wholesale. I, I think my favorite part was when you went upstairs, and you were like, "Which part did I miss?" And then you asked us if that was the part you missed, and it was. Yeah, yeah. is that the scene where yeah. uh, Newt and Ripley like have that? Is there monsters yeah. or whatever yeah. scene? Yeah. yeah, and that was the scene that you yeah. missed. Oh yeah, you there's totally a Newt in this movie. <laughs> there's a Newt in this movie. Uh, uh like a older, more annoying Newt. Yeah, Newt. yeah. yeah not Samantha. even a child. Yeah. Yeah, Samantha, who she, yells she a looks lot. like a young adult. Sarah! Yeah. Oh my god! So much. Oh my god! That scene where she's trying to unpack her from the alien. Oh my god! Web. It goes on forever. Forever. And they say the same thing. Like, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry. And Sarah! Just, I can't. Sarah! Can't describe how long it goes on. Oh my on god! It's so forever. repetitive and everything. Oh, oh yeah, it's terrible. That kid's in there to only like scream and well, yell, and building. they get a creepy look on her face, and she's like, "I have an idea." And bite that guy. And to bite a dude. Yeah. Well, should that, because that happens in Alien. Mm, right, yep. That happens. Uh, that would be Hicks, but I don't know who the right. Hicks analog is. It's also a Terminator is. reference. It's like, Terminators don't bleed. I do. Yeah. Don't do that again. <laughs> 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 it's amazingly just uh, brazen in its ripoff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know oh, how to talk no, about shameless. this movie without talking about aliens. They... They, you know, have to go in. There's an attack of alien creatures. Somebody gets abducted, cocooned. A thing breaks out of their chest. In this case, it's a hand <laughs> for some Felt fucking like dumbass right? reason yeah. and strangle somebody. Uh, they they have to regroup. They fall back to the command center. There's a scene where they've got motion trackers, which don't like have the effect on them. But they're like they're inside the room. <laughs> you're going through this way too quick. I mean, you need well, to expand uh, what you're talking about <laughs> into at least ten minutes. Like scenes. Holly said, okay. it looks like they're holding a fucking Wilson's leather wallet. Yeah, as, as the con- yeah, there's controller. nothing to it. There's, yeah, they, there's they nothing, put nothing to it. Into the it's effects. a piece of leather. Yeah. It's just it's they're looking at something. Well, I do want to go through this quickly enough so we can get to the Terminator portion of the movie oh, yeah, that occurs right. the climax but you're right we should slow down and explain to you and give you a <laughs> good mental should we? <laughs> picture and describe the walking of the hallways in detail because I, it happens so yeah. often I well i mean there's at least six pipes maybe going across the ceiling i would say six, right six right nice in round both, in uh, both directions they're yeah. an off-white color mm-hmm. um there's a little blue light on them are you yep. doing this um, are we doing this <laughs> we, Sean, we don't, we don't need to go this deep we don't, we don't need to. I, I have a question there's a there's a part where a character says get out the ky jelly so we can shaft him real good mm-hmm. someone said that Is Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that, that, that is, I, I, and like, that and like he asleep. did like a motion with his gun when he said it too, so it was like shove. And the other guy was like, yeah. yeah. And the other guy was, like, yeah. Gonna fuck him. Yeah. And he just runs off. Yeah. So this like that's a, that's original to this movie, right? That, that, that is, is not yes. an aliens. Okay. You are correct. I was like, I was like, I don't remember those movies very well, but I don't remember that. But it like, kind of reminds me of the inappropriate police chief from Samurai Cop. Oh yeah, remember for sure. All of his like ass. Yeah, Thomas. yeah, shove it up yeah. your ass and all that. Yeah. yeah, he had a ton of that. Yeah, that was a thing in eighties uh, movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at some point, the guys just like, God, I love ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in the office when Stanley went through. It's shove it up your butt. And shove it up your butt. Yeah. Shove it up your butt. <laughs> Take it and shove it up your butt. <laughs> I had to. Come. That's reference yeah. number one. Yeah. <laughs> That's two That's for office two, yeah. references like, tonight. Yeah. Yep. Waiting for the community. Yeah, uh, yeah, only, to show only we could There's a kick puncher connection yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Is Derek Mears in this movie? <laughs> I wish. I wish That'd Derek be Mears was in this movie. Right? Aliens. All right, well take us take us to the next step in this in this featured film. <laughs> Where uh, they, they uh, walk around hallways more. There you go. I took you to the next <sighs> step. <sighs> this There's is so exhausting. So much walking fucking... in the hallways. Yeah. Uh, slowly and at length. <laughs> at They're length. nice. Uh, we, we were taking bets on shots in this movie, like because they're shooting down a really long hallway, and me and Colin are like, "You think they'll walk to the end of the hallway and just show the whole thing?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'll bet they will." <laughs> you know what? Comes- they gotta fill that ninety minutes. They gotta fill that ninety minutes. You know what's even better than that shot? Like another one right after. Right it. after it. <laughs> yeah. That's the exact. That same does the thing. same thing. Yeah, I agree. Coming back the other way in a hallway or whatever. Yep. Uh, they also know to kill the power the the creatures do, and that of course turns the entire screen red. Of course. And so we spend a lot of this movie, a good portion of it, in yeah. red. Um, Why we is worked, that, Colin? 
Um, because there's red a scene Italian. in. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, a scene in that's aliens. what Italians do that's when they Italians make do. movies. That's a, that's the control room scene in Aliens. We got to take make it look exactly like that. That was yeah. probably the edict. Do we know how this movie came about? Did you do any research on? They this? saw aliens. And I was gonna say. Like, I feel like think. really liked aliens. <laughs> They saw aliens. They and they like we can. It literally is. It's like a money grab. They're just like we can do this. Let's just make portions of aliens and portions of Terminator. Combine them together. Somebody makes a script, and they're just like, we'll call it a sequel. Because the whole plan was. It's called Shocking Dark and a bunch of other things. But the whole plan for this movie was Terminator Two. Mm-hmm. That's what they were going for. That's why they made this movie. That's why it was, you know, uh, put out there because they wanted to make money off of the name because James Cameron was a thing at this point. Terminator, Aliens. This was the same year he released Abyss. So Terminator Two wasn't out yet. So no, that was they're, they're like, we want more we Terminator. Can, right. and that fucker's not doing it. We're gonna do no, it. No, we can make money off this if we just call it Terminator Two. <laughs> Put all these elements that are apparently successful for him yeah. in one movie mm-hmm. and release that shit, and people will come see it. It's like, oh, yeah. sequel to Terminator, and it's got aliens. And shit. Yeah, fuck. But why is there no money behind it? That's why I don't understand. Like, because if, nobody believed because in they're trying. This is that's Italian <laughs> filmmaking, at least for some people. I mean, they're just some like, let's get the basic elements in this. Let's get a name on it. We make it for as cheap as we possibly can, so we can make the most money off of it. So it's 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 like Canon and Blumhouse method. Italian yeah, style way, without any yeah. cash way, with no, even yeah. less no cash than Canon no and Blumhouse really yeah. huh yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah you can't even make those comparisons I no, mean, the I don't think so Asylum feels like they have one. more money I think yeah. so everyone had more money than yeah. what was put behind this movie oh right. yeah so as here's cheap the thing. as possible I actually have heard the name Bruno Mattei before mm, but I'm trying to think like did he do like an Emmanuel movie like he did I mean he did a lot of exploitation across the board he started out doing like exotic like women's prison movies and women's <laughs> well, as you women, do I as mean, you do you know, that's right? how you start cheap stuff yeah. that is high on the exploitation level that people will come see it's like oh women's prison women naked and what have you that's how every film company started mm-hmm. like literally every film company started yeah, where has that like genre that? gone yeah. women in prison women in prison bring that mm-hmm. back it's called orange is the new black yeah yeah it's not really <laughs> I know that's where it is now. It's unfortunate. That's, I mean, but that, what's the it's as close uh, so, as you get? Yeah. What, so you can walk into a theater and be identified as a pervert, like right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, is that exactly. what you're trying for? Because that's all that's going to ha- happen. Have, have a real Fred movies. Willard situation like, on your hands. Those movies exist, but they're just going to be on like. <laughs> No, they're not, not going to no, be they're theatrical. Not they're not going to be. Are they still yeah. making those? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's. Uh, some I gotta go check. No, because I have HBO Go, right? Yeah. And so there's a category in HBO Go. It's called like HBO After Dark or something, yeah. right? Yes. And it's literally like on demand. All those types of movies. But they're mm-hmm. new films. Not yeah, like the old ones. They're new. Yeah. I've never seen like a one hundred prison movie. This is like one of those like subgenres. I've like seen like Reform School Girls. Yeah, or but that's whatever. a that is a that's a parody is or it? satire of the old. Okay, that makes yeah. a lot more sense. You've actually, got the uh, the trailer that. DVD that has yeah, plenty like of these women in prison. Yeah. And, uh, arena and uh, women in prison. Women, women in, in prison. Cages. Yeah, you've got plenty of these yeah. things. I know. I've that... seen the trailers. You guys are so knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trailer he runs them all the time. <laughs> I am a film they historian. Have, the Holly, imagery sticks in your yeah. head, Holly. Only reason why I would yeah, okay. be interested All right. in you know, preserving the past. Sure. <laughs> Caligula. He did a Caligula. Not the Caligula. Yeah, not the Malcolm Caligula. McDowell Caligula. Caligula. No. And uh, Messalina is the title. This, of is, it, th- this is their Caligula 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Cali- yeah, okay. it's Caligula 2. All right. God, could Poor you imagine a, like a caged a women? He did caged women. Okay. I can I can He did Women's Prison Massacre. Oh, they're uh, now we're now we're combining genres. Yeah, he the did, slasher or something, and the women's. He did women rats. Uh huh. That was like yeah. Strike Commando, Double Target. I'm sure like Fred Williamson is probably. In He's got to be in movies. some yeah. of these movies. He did Zombie Three. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, yeah. I I knew I had heard like somehow he was in this. Uh, this genre, you know, yeah, whatever. he gets into everything. He takes a little piece of everything, and wow. uh, eventually he makes a certain genre movie like Robo War, which is apparently like a sort of like Predator ish ripoff. But I think even like if you look at like the stuff that Fulci did, by the time you get to like the eighties, like his stuff sucks. Yeah, bad yeah too, that's you know? true. Like their heyday was the seventies. Oh yeah, it was 60s. very short lived. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It was cruel- real high peaks and real low valleys. Mm-hmm. Cruel Jaws is a TV movie in nineteen ninety five. He did Cruel Jaws. Is he that the one you were talking about? That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, shit. 
He said that earlier. I'm sorry. I did. I uh, and he worked up until 2007 until he what? died. What? Like he did zombies, the beginning, Island of the Living Dead, the jail, the women's hell. All the financing they could have gone to someone else. <laughs> I'm sure there wasn't too much financing put behind any of these things. Yeah, but you got to find something from like 1977. What did he do? Because that's where well, that's probably the, he was at his uh, peak well, that, peak powers. Well, that's why well, I mentioned those. Are, that's uh, well, these were all at the women's camp. Uh, 119. Mm-hmm. And all the 70s, it was straight Italian stuff. Nothing got converted to like, you know. American at that point. It was just all like Italian names, finance only released there. Yeah. It wasn't the eighties was is successful. Right. The eighties is the is where he got like where he started ripping off stuff more and that's when caged women and women's prison massacre came about. Mm. Early eighties. That's where I think his peak was. Do you know anything about this guy's like background as far as like his education in filmmaking or anything like that? <sighs> No, it, no, just I mean, say I no. Read, if you, read, if you don't read, know, read, just say no. No, no. I read Wikipedia yeah. earlier and what he grew up on, but I, I have. Since he died forgotten. in what? Oh seven, you said. Yeah, I think he died in oh seven. How old a, was he? Uh, nine? Sean, why don't you know everything about yeah, this no, guy? God, you brought the movie. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! It's no, incumbent just, upon you. Seventy five. He's only seventy five. Oh wow! Do you guys ever notice things in movies where you're like, well, that's a basic like film 101 that they just missed apparently right yeah. mm-hmm. like i mean this movie's filled with those but the one that stuck out to me is when you have three characters sitting in like a conference room watching three tvs for whatever reason yeah. but like there's like 20 maybe 30 empty chairs behind them take those out because that just makes the room look empty and yeah. look like there's like should be more people when there well, isn't post-apocalyptic though they're the only people left why yeah. are there that many chairs? Then? But then why? Yeah, why do you because have that many that, chairs? Then that conference room was made post-apocalyptically. Wait, so yeah. why are they putting that many chairs in that yeah. room? Is it post-apocalyptic? They make it sound like it's just post-apocalyptic in Venice. Venice, yeah. Like the rest of the world's fine. It's like a demolition man situation where you're like, what's happening in the rest of the world? Though, yeah. like you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, you'll never yeah. Know. But there, there's his spatial, his geography of people in his scene or shot setups is not great. No, that's a good it's point. Awful. But because I, everyone is always facing one direction. Like nobody ever looks yeah. anywhere yeah. else, and or people will be talking else. to people, but looking the opposite direction. Yeah, yeah. But but Jesus Christ, get some PAs, the get some yeah. PAs to move those chairs out of the scene. Yeah, you know, nothing, it's it, it's good. an easy fix that makes it that much easier. You but know, that would take time and therefore money, and we got to do this in like no, eight days. We got to put out got. Terminator Two. They didn't, yeah. have, they didn't have money to pay people to work on the sets. <laughs> Come on, there's no PAs in this movie. Sets, it was found locations, set up a light. Start shooting. What are you doing? Yeah. They would have had to pull someone off the street and be like, I'll give you 20 bucks to move these chairs for me. Mm. Too much. That kind of money. Too much. You know, they didn't have that kind of money. The irony is here that there was probably paid PAs running around. Probably, oh, probably. probably. set designers doing stuff that we will never Don't appreciate. Don't you dare say that. I cannot <laughs> live in a world where that is true. Where they're just so awful and incompetent. It's very true. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, so eventually you do no I won't say they're incompetent because you do what your director wants yeah that's true you do what certain people the higher ups order you to do I'm not going to blame a set director or a PA Uh, for this shit that's a very I just did what I was that's That's also a Nazi Nazi excuse the Nazis did that too I just did what I was told to do you know are are uh, we just comparing this to Nazi Germany I'm saying I'm saying that mentality in the wrong hands leads to very bad uh, things yes obviously you know and that's how you create megalomaniacs too you know you can't just give in to the other you know every whim and that's how you create monsters so or little trolls (laughs) <laughs> or, uh, or troll twos. Yeah. Um, I mean, I imagine that they were probably people were paid, but they didn't have enough money to buy anything. It was no. like we can pay. They had enough money for forty extra chairs. That's but my point. Was a so many goddamn location. extra chairs. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> move, move them out of Somehow the frame. They got to uh, use a. <laughs> Decommissioned, or maybe it was a weekend. Uh, something. Somehow they got <laughs> the weekend shoot. nuclear reactor <laughs> facility. <laughs> uh, well, what else could it be? No, that was like a it conference looked, room. No, but it, it looked, looked like it. It looked like a new Because they had that big door. ass door. The, yeah. The yeah. Tron door that yeah. takes forever to open. It's yeah. a big, like, round, you know, whatever. The room I'm talking about looked like a conference room in a hotel. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. why I was like, just move those chairs to the left a little bit so you can't see them. Yeah. So there's a Terminator in this movie. There is. <laughs> Sam Fuller turns into a Terminator out of nowhere. Really out of nowhere. And it's because. Uh, See, that's why I was like, when was Resident Evil uh, made? Because the, the, the tubular, vibe? yeah, the tubular corporation okay. and the Umbrella Corporation are very it much the same. Feels the they're same. in an underground. The going, tubular yes. Umbrella Corporation. The tubular. <laughs> the tubular bell. Um, umbrella Corporation. <laughs> so I got the Resident Evil vibe big time for this movie toward the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm like, either did this inspire Resident Evil, or did they see they played some Resident Evil video game? I don't game? know. I'm, maybe. There's something weird going on there. Some kind of cross power. Feels thing. like it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I get that. I got that vibe. Because we find out that the Tubular Corporation is actually responsible for some kind of a nanoprobe it virus. It felt like this guy was like Wesker. DNA thing that, yes. This guy felt okay, like Wesker. Right. This the guy Terminator felt like Wesker. Yes. He's like Wesker. He's like Wesker. So they killed everybody, basically, in a big uh, real estate scheme to <laughs> kill everyone in Venice so that they can reclaim it the is, property. It's and a real sell estate. It. It's a long term heist. It's a real estate scheme. <laughs> it's a long term heist. It is. It's a long con to get all the. Uh, <laughs> it's like an Ocean's, you know, the eleven level heist. Owns all of the land, <laughs> artwork, and everything else in Venice. And so, if we uh, eliminate all these people, we can. Re- you know, we can get a great return on our investment by selling off these things. It's like, it's a land scheme. It's if they the, they're, own they're it, why do they need to kill Superman. anyone if they already own it? Because they want to sell it for more money than uh, yeah. they're currently making off. Of why it. does Same people? Story. Why does mass genocide make it more valuable? Uh, because uh, it's, uh, it's got yeah, canals. yeah, exactly. They're like Just Lex sell Luthor. it. So yeah, you know what? Land. <laughs> they're not making any more of it. Yeah. But this is art. It's not land. That's what doesn't make any goddamn sense. I feel like maybe it started as a pyramid scheme and it failed, so they reversed it. <laughs> they were like, oh, yeah. our downstreams are collapsing. Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> uh, aliens. Yeah. Uh. The movie does uh, foster some kind of warm and fuzzy feelings toward the city of Venice, which we never see aside from a little travelogue at the beginning. Right. Because, because they're not it's actually sure. there, Colin. Yeah, it's filmed in this enclosed environment. Until but- the end. There is a scene where the Apone Vasquez character reaches into her boob pocket and pulls out. I but, like, into her boob. Room. Okay, she reaches yeah. into her boob, but goes down to, like, her crotch almost. <laughs> she goes down really far into that <laughs> she, shirt. Yeah, no. I thought she was going to pop one out. But she pulls out a postcard. Well, her, her co-worker thought the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, also, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is a, a tender, touching moment. Is it? Is it really? Film, it's a picture she, of old Venice. Yeah, yeah sure. And he, I, th- I don't think he w- had even given us some idea of how much time has passed. He wasn't unaware that like Venice used to look like this. He had never seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're so far in the future. He grew up after. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's a here's a picture of what Venice used to look like during this time of total danger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have this as we're being pursued by alien creatures down a hall. I'm going to give you this. It's, nothing makes any sense in this. No. Okay, nothing makes not sense. at all. <laughs> so Terminator dude is revealed right. at the end after the bad guys. Uh, you know, we find out through a recording the land scheme thing. It's yeah. like, oh my god, tubular is behind all this. So the Terminator is then is like, okay, fine, now I can tubular. be a Terminator. <laughs> totally tubular, man. And I can chase the remaining people down. Which basically, why I didn't think- you kill us? I was waiting for the right time. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> Actual lines of dialogue. <laughs> I, and Sean, I think your delivery was better. It yeah. was. Oh, yeah. Oh. Any delivery we make on this podcast is way better oh. than the actual movie. Oh. <laughs> oh, None yeah. of them. Non- there's, no, there's no redeeming no. actor in no. this movie. Well, except the guy who was screaming at the beginning. He was, <laughs> yeah. like, he was going for it. He wasn't good. No, he wasn't he was good. Just going for he it. was just he, up to he, 11. Just That's better. what it was. Yeah. 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 So he made an impression by being up to 11. But mm-hmm. the but rest and he just walks into an alien and is like, oh my God, <laughs> we should stand here. And die. Uh, yeah, it's the last yeah, we see of them. He was screaming, why, as he was dying. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, our heroes... Which is uh, Wait, Ripley we have and Newt in this movie? Ripley and Newt. Oh, oh, Ripley. oh! Okay. There's no characterization. Oh, no. We know that they're the heroes because they're dressed, they're dressed like, dressed like Ripley. Heroes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yep. Yep. So yeah, she escorts Newt into a uh, little room. Uh, with a chair in it. Because so. there's been a countdown this whole time. Cause oh, shit. The countdown, the countdown. Oh, the Okay, the countdown, the countdown makes less sense than the, like, <laughs> double elimination announcement over the top. Like, you know, over the top, they constantly are explaining you the rules. Like, that's sure. what this announcement is doing, is it's constantly... Like, you can lose twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, <Exactly. this movie. laughs> in this movie. Yep. So there's going to be a self-destruct, <laughs> right? But first of all, we're going to count down... This facility will blow up two times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Before it blows up, we're going to count down to the, the point of no return. Yeah, 
That's the countdown. <laughs> Not to when it blows up, to when you can't go back. <laughs> Which I missed this or something. Everybody missed it. Missed it was like Everybody five, four, three, two, one. And everybody's just kind of running. They're still going. And I'm like. We're all like. <laughs> Why is nothing happening? Nothing's blowing up. It's not, like a, not an explosion yeah, to be like, had. Three, two, one. Bitch, you fucked up. <laughs> it's just like you can't go back now. Yeah. yeah. No, that I, was you had down, to explain. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know what the yeah. fuck. You're no. like, no, no, that was the countdown to the point where they can't like make yes. it. They can't that shut the it. thing off at like, like three uh, minutes oh. and thirty seconds. It was a weird time. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's another countdown. Well, there wasn't. After that, no, it's all silent. Was there's nothing on the... No, the alarms all go off and yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. And they get in the little pod room, which I'm like... Are we, again, we're not in space. Where the fuck are... Okay. We're under Venice. Right. Well, I get that, but it looked like we were getting into like the 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 the, the ship's like escape pod. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It feels like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then a recording comes on and tells them that the, this has like a, the, it's a untested time capsule. It's the time pod. It's the, the tubular the time, time pod. pod. Yeah, I think they actually say that. It's, it's the tubular the, time pod. Yeah. It's the tubular corporation time pod. And it has like a tutorial video on like yeah. what's going to happen next. They have a next. fucking flight attendant on yeah. the video. Like. Oh, yeah. Have a nice Welcome. trip. Yeah. Like it's Welcome. This to this but, time pod is unused and uh, They do uh, say it's a test version though. Yeah. Yeah. So that it's means there's version. lots of room for error. But enjoy your trip. <laughs> it's like, we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Hope and you make they, it. They send them so they Bye. this is how they escape from the horrible the, the thing exploding. F- a time machine. They, they wander into a time machine. A time machine. Yeah. <laughs> they wander into a time machine. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. How else were they going to get out of this, Colin? <laughs> Why wouldn't well, they? Why wouldn't there be a time machine that you just wander into? I know. I have one I love... uh, behind that wall. Oh, actually, shit. That I keep oh, we got to find the, the, the just, right point to push yeah. on the wall, then. So. When I the love world's about to end, I'm hopping in that thing. That there's just the, the, the woman who shows up to just narrate what's going on. Yeah. She mm-hmm. narrates what the Tubular Corporation is up to, mm-hmm. and she narrates... Uh, what they've just stepped into, and it's wonderful. Like oh, yeah. it's yeah. just nonchalant. It's like, welcome to the time machine. Mm-hmm. If you walk, this well, way. she's not in a hurry. She's uh, no. pre recorded. Yeah, it's just like a fucking Jurassic Park ride at this point. So it boom, is. yeah, they're sent back to modern day Venice, where the time machine is no. They just appear in the middle of the street. Yeah, yeah, like Terminator, except clothed, I suppose. But yes, sure. like Terminator. Do you Jeez. think that? But it's not like the same space that they were. Whatever. Okay. So they end up <laughs> in. Don't try to make sense. No. Of whatever. Okay. What is the yeah. best way to That's sum up this best, movie. Yeah. Whatever. Otherwise, okay. I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if you try to think about this too much, you'll go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> but listeners, <laughs> the Terminator <laughs> has followed them back. <laughs> The, in time. And he explains it. There were two time pods back on the base. <laughs> yeah. I took the second one. Yeah. Because he's like the queen alien in Aliens in that he took the second elevator. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because well, I was wondering, that. like, who was going to be the, uh, if we were going to have an alien queen or alien, uh, or queen Terminator. I we wish it would have been a queen Terminator. Oh, that would have been amazing. Great. Yeah. Because we never, oh, yeah, we, we, alien, the creatures take the girl, cocoon her, Ripley right. gives her, the, I'm sorry, whoever her name is, Samantha. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, not, Sarah, not Ripley. Sarah, 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 yeah. Sarah, Ripley. Sarah, 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 Sarah Connor. Gives her the little, uh, you know, the. Sarah Ripley. Sarah Ripley, yeah. The hand, Don't the worry. Arm band if I lose you, I can find you. Yeah. This will not come into play later. Run. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, so anyway, in the, in the present day, they get chased uh, by the Terminator to a uh, dead end. Where if he throws uh, a dude in the river, I'll help you. Whatever, just chucks him into the river because that's he's a terminator. Let's do, yeah. terminate people. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, what the fuck happened after they get they they they're running through alleys and they end up in a dead end. Dead end. Yeah. Oh, she tosses she the him time the time piece thing, thing at him, which the he wallet. catches the time wallet. Yeah, which he catches and then it sends him. Apparently, blows him up, sends him back. I in think time, it sends him somewhere. Sends him somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Who, who which, fucking cares? Honestly? Which then he who has the technology. Cares? I don't. <laughs> he's gone. He's, go- he's gone. He's okay? gone. Okay. But he's, he's got the technology. Can he come back? Is he in another timeline? Do we care? Where's the sequel? <laughs> Man, you think it was a James Cameron? Like the the imagery that he came up with. You know, the guy with the half his face yeah. torn off and the metal face behind it. Like that's in Demons, another Italian yeah. movie, which, which I like. Which Greta Greta is in. Oh, it, who is she in Demons? She, she's the the um, uh, 
she's the black woman who with the dreadlocks who get, goes into the bathroom oh, and yeah. he's not feeling good. Oh, yeah. And she, she turns, turns into, into a the, demon. Yeah. She yeah. turns into the creepiest demon of that fucking uh, movie. She's the A-Pone Vasquez Which she character. fucking s- scares the shit out of me in that movie. Yeah. She's a good oh, she's demon. pretty creepy. That's a good Italian movie you should check out. That's, all, that's a very good one. Watch yeah. Demons. Only because Not it ends with a guy on a motorcycle <laughs> yes, with a with samurai a katana. sword <laughs> driving through a movie theater, chopping the heads off of demons while heavy metal plays on the soundtrack album. What else? That's do you need? awesome. Yeah. What yeah. else do you need? That's a great know, yeah. movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not directed by Bruno. That was Mattel. Bava, wasn't it? That was Lumberto, his son. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lumberto yeah, Bava. Lumberto Bava. Um, all right, so we should just stop talking. About I think yeah, we're done. Yeah, just, I think we're, we're clearly moving on to other than things. I thought yeah. we were going to about shocking dark. Yeah. Shocking dark. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, listener. We are gonna read your mail because uh, some of you sent some, some stuff you in. Have thoughts on this movie about shocking I'm dark shocked. and some of our other episodes, and then uh, we're gonna go around the table and we're gonna tell you our uh, what we truly thought of this movie individually, truly. which you can't you, you can't miss this. And uh, then we're going to talk about uh, Halloween trailer, because why not? So, first of all, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. I oh, thank you, Igor. What's his voice, you? Did you sing to him? <laughs> He's got a Igor. fucking Ripley jumpsuit on, too. God damn it, Igor. But he looks That's how like, we know. It's He's like, the but hero. he looks like one of the aliens in a Ripley jumpsuit. Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, at least, he, at least he made an effort, you know? Yeah. More than we can say for most people in this movie, so. That's it's a, a feety jumpsuit. Yeah. It's got little yeah. feeties on it. <laughs> 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 little oh, sticky so pads so it doesn't slip, you know? Yeah. Little grips on it. Little grips so it doesn't slip. Yep. Oh. It's a slime that's a big turn off. I'm telling yeah. you, this guy stinks. That's why he's got the he's feet covered. on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Slime. yeah. yeah. Green, green slime. Uh, so, first of all, we should, we should remind the folks at home. <laughs> we should. Well, they're not at home. You're driving in your car. Sorry. Or don't, holding your laundry. You know? holding yeah. your laundry. You're going to work. Chores. Yeah. Hi. Driving. You're at your desk trying to look like you're working. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hey. So Good morning. How can they get a hold of us on Facebook? <laughs> Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. What about on Twitter? At Sat Freak Show. Can they email us? They can, Colin. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can also find Absolutely. us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. So, first of all, mm. oh, yeah. And by the way, we ask that you uh, give us a star rating sure. or a like or Please subscribe do. to us mm. or write us a review on mm. iTunes, Stitcher Radio, mm. TuneIn, wherever you are. That'd be great. Like yeah. Neckbeard McGee. Who wrote us a review on iTunes? Hey, somebody hey. had to claim the neck name. Neckbeard. Hey, is, all right. Let's wait till we hear the review. Before we, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So here you go. Uh-oh. Neckbeard McGee Uh-oh. says, "I really enjoy Saturday Night Freak Show's recent shows. Oh, good. Older episodes were pretty rough. Bad production. Annoying hosts, especially the guy with the deep, super low cadence. <laughs> I never caught his name. Super. <laughs> oh, super slow cadence. I think that was a guest. I was gonna say, is that?" Super, super low. I'm like, is that you? Uh, <laughs> no. yes. Super, slow super, cadence. super slow cadence. cadence. It might have been a guest of ours. But yeah. uh, I thoroughly enjoy listening to Colin, Sean, oh, Michaela, and Holly. I could do Aww. with less eating and lip smacking, but the content is good and the hosts have a good report. <laughs> Why did Guys. you all listen to that one episode? Guys. One episode. We, we don't eat. One we, episode. We had one weekend where we had to double show. up and do two in one day on a Sunday. <laughs> and we ate. Please forgive it's us. It's the only one yeah. we've ever eaten on. Otherwise, we eat before so that we don't have that problem. That's right. We, yeah, I usually do. I'm sorry. God, but, I'm sorry for you. eating during the craft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> was that the one? Was I think so, it was, yeah. it was, it was yeah. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead craft. craft yeah. okay. That we had to do two they in one day. They were chocolate covered pretzels. You I'm need them sorry. too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, neck beard. We've, we've no, no, we thank you for them. listening. No, thank, thank you. you. We, we, uh, we hear you. We don't done. eat anymore. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Lip smacking. I don't know. We're all we're all intoxicated. We're all drinking. So, so. Uh, yeah. but he says, but the content is good and the hosts have a good rapport and I find them genuinely amusing and fun to listen to. Keep up the good work, use guys. Oh yeah, please fix the squeaky chair. Oh, oh, that's not, that's all of that's the chairs. That's been going on for 276 80, episodes. Yeah. That's some not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the it's, chairs. They're all that's part of, all of them. That's part of that's the, part of the atmosphere. Yeah. We've been chair. trying to. We've talked about it. We've thought about I sprayed it. it with, we've uh, looked at uh, it. We've sprayed it. It's not going to happen. Yeah. There will it's always literally be all four chairs, chairs, too. It's not just one. It's all of them. It's Yeah, it'll never go away. 
So about our episode, <laughs> Shocking Dark. <laughs> Dom, Dom Free. <laughs> right, Dom, 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 you're a hero. Dom, this, is, uh, for, this was for you. Uh, Dom says that this movie has phenomenal artwork. And that's about it. He says he couldn't even get past the first half hour, oh, but he's yeah, got to okay. admire the Italian exploitation hustle, though. Okay, if Dom couldn't make it through the first half Dom, hour, you've seen that's this before, right? You mentioned this before. You, Dom's watched this before. He's watched. Yeah, it all he the saw way a half hour of it. Yeah, and he's like, watched it all oh, the way through. Think those guys watch it. He watched it all the way through. Tell me I'm wrong, Dom. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I have a bone to pick with you next time I'm in Austin. Oh, the feud's starting again. Yeah. The feud's going to yeah. start again. If you, Dom, if you haven't watched this movie all the way through, <laughs> we are in a fight. We are in a fight. Is th- is this like an annual thing every summer you have a feud with Dom? I think it Maybe. is. Yeah. If he yeah. hasn't watched this movie all the way through, we're in a fight. And we're going to have some problems. Well, about our episode Breaking 2, <laughs> TGS12371 says... Yeah, uh, he says, I certainly was a fan of Breaking and Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. Imagine a thin, blonde-haired, blue-eyed 12-year-old trying his best to break dance because of the breakdance films. While Turbo was my favorite character, I had the biggest crush on Kelly. Excellent Wait. choice by Michaela for this episode. And hello, my queen, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we talked about how Special K looked f- fantastic in that movie, so I, I agree. Well, we posted a uh, uh, image from the poster on Facebook. That poster is accentuating every Everybody. Well, Every, he, uh, literally uh, everyone. Tramp looks like wow. a 42-year-old man. He had a comment. He said it was nice art- artwork, but I don't recall Lucinda Dickey, a.k.a. Kelly, a.k.a. Special K, having, uh, well, proportioned girls. And yeah, I'm not referring not, to she, Ozone and Turbo. No, Turbo. But she doesn't really have, like, shirts that show them off, really, either. She oh, no, has very, she, like, high cut. But she like, goes brawless the arms. a lot yeah. in that movie. A lot. And, and you they can do not tell. look like they that are, poster. No. They are Boogaloo not shrimp. that But that, that's, like that classic, man. that's a classic, like, 80s poster design yes. where everyone's, like, overtoned, yes, you know, and over-accentuated. That's, like... It's like a comic book poster. Yeah, exactly. As you would, as you should, if you're going to make a movie of that. Like you said, Boogaloo Shrimp is, like, he's, like, rail thin in the movie, but on that poster, he's, like, fucking ripped. I don't know why they put Ernie Hudson on that cover. <laughs> but that's not Boogaloo Shrimp. <laughs> that is not at all. Well, Tom also writes in about Breaking Two and says, uh, awesome episode. Love the Saturday Night Freak Show spitball session where you guys came up with an insane vinyl time travel rapper movie. Yeah. That was uh, Turntable Time Machine. Yeah, we, guys, we need good. to write that because it actually is a legitimately good Michaela, idea. Michaela and I, else, that could be a Disney movie. But Michaela yeah. and I came up with more ideas later on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We got a winner on our hands <laughs> with that one. Uh, he also says, uh, Michaela mentioning the five iron frenzy somehow also gets this show another point on the insanity scale. I'm full of surprises, you know? <laughs> well, all right, so that brings us to <laughs> the most exciting point of the night. I know Holly's ready for this because <laughs> she's about ready to sleep. And this is the final <laughs> wrap up round. So final we're going to tell you, here it comes. And are you ready to find out? Colin. There, okay, there it is. I was like, where the I was hell? Like, Jesus, this is Sean, my cue. this is you. <laughs> Colin, what did you think of Shocking Dark? Sometimes you all just need to let it breathe and let's see how far he goes. No. Colin. I want to get to the Halloween trailer, so, you know. Uh, um, <laughs> we have more important issues to deal with. Colin, what did you think Shocking Dark? Shocking yeah. Dark? Yeah. Um, I don't know, Sean. I mean, I appreciate that you hadn't seen it before because otherwise I might take this personally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not. Like this movie, um, I think just because it's the weird, it is a weird situation to be in where you're watching a movie that is so closely, so blatantly, blatantly stealing scenes, dialogue, wholesale from a much, much better film and trying to pass it off. I mean, that's why I guess you know, there's fandom, you know, there's everybody who's like, Yeah, I want to make a movie like Aliens, or I'll just like. Take all of the scenes from Aliens and make that. Isn't that how you do it? You got to make your own thing that kind of feels like Aliens. Maybe pay people be, to do know? this, Colin, to just rip shit off. Yeah, yeah. There's money in it. Bruno Mattei had a career. He I'll, kept I'll, on I'm, getting I'll take uh, a job doing that. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> well, fucking hire me. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. No, it's not being hired. It's taking the initiative to just rip shit off. Yeah. yeah. And just go do it on your own. The cardinal sin that this movie commits is it's boring. It's lethally boring. <laughs> I mean, your mind wanders, and that's why I was watching Aliens in my head, you know, because uh, while I was watching this movie, uh, I had a much better time there than uh, than in the basement here. Uh, Kept going to check on his pork. 
Yeah, and kept leaving. That the, sounds really gross. Out of context. <laughs> you should you should no, quantify no, that. No context. That Colin so kept gross. going to check on his pork. Yep. <laughs> and he had a better time doing it. It'll be tasty tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I know, and uh, I know that that well. It also sounds ah, the like the brine, the brine, the brine, the brine. Yeah, but that also sounds like I didn't respect this movie enough to actually sit and watch your choice, Sean. I'm sorry that I had to get up and check the oven. Uh, <laughs> you missed like five minutes, Max. Yeah, you didn't maybe. I've you seen didn't it before. Anything. It's called Aliens. I know yeah. everything that happens yeah, in this anything. thing. Except for the shocking twist ending that you know the, where the Terminator shows up. That's for the shock uh, of the dark. That's the shocking dark. The dark came this first. This is probably the where you're going to tell me there's a shocking dark two or three, or that all the cast members are getting getting together and they travel. Most of them never worked again. or whatever. Most of them never worked again. I hope so. Somebody deserves <laughs> to pay for this, and you got to pay with your career. This is a terrible, <laughs> awful, awful movie. You should stay away from it. I don't know why. I mean, like. I get that Severin Films is putting it's out... It's a thing, Colin. But they just put this out on Blu-ray. They, they took go, the effort to clean it up and release yeah, it but, for uh, us. This is so what? But this is what's interesting about the world we live in. <laughs> they as, chose that. As Blu-ray sales are dying off, right? And everybody's going to like a digital format. So it's now for collectors only. And so they go and they find these like... You know, uh, obscure movies that have these cult followings. And they clean them up like... They look perfect. I mean, they yeah. look fantastic. Christine. And they put them out on video. And it's like the Criterion Collection put out like the Beyond or something, right? <laughs> and you're like, ooh, ah. But they also spend their time like rescuing movies like Kathy's Curse and Shocking Dark, which you imagine had to come in a package deal with something else. And that's why they have to put them out. And because, oh, there's no have to. I think they, uh, they're, like they they're bought one of those like stuff. hundred pack of yeah, horror movies yeah. sort of thing. Uh, we want the license to, I mean, that you know, whatever. With Kathy's Curse. Yeah. That's yeah. Very true. So. Yeah. But there has to to pick one of the movies from that ten pack of horror movies you find at Walmart and to give it the love and the dedication. That just means they have a lot of free time. To, I don't think they're doing just up. the one. I think Why? they're doing. They're all a of business, them. Colin. They got to make money somewhere. They're not just going to pick a movie. They're just like, well, nobody's going to buy this shit. They're going to find something that is going to make money. I think if they put it on Blu-ray. I think they think if they talk about it enough, people will buy it. Yeah. But Look, you're evidence there. of that. You are evidence there's of that. Out there, they will talk about it. Yeah, look, and, and like, it's filtered you, down to me. You have picked two yeah. of these movies now based off of Twitter conversations, right? So yeah. their marketing is working. Yep, it's working. That's, that's, that's how it's. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, sure. but they're so making So you are their money. you are causing this problem, to keep happening. Yes, yeah, I'm the problem. you are the that's problem. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the problem. Yep, and they also they're heavy on the convention circuit. I think yeah, oh, yeah, very cons, true, yeah, they're there, and you know, but I think they have the ones that they actually do move. You know, from their stable, they have their, and these are the kind of the ones that they know that they're only going to sell, like, you know, what, 100, 300 of them? I don't know what they're making, but, you know. But it's more popular than you think it is. I don't. Only I, I'll take that bet. I will way, take it. Right? But I'm sorry. I've talked enough. <laughs> Holly, how much did you hate Wait, this Wait, would you movie? recommend it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is one of no, the worst all, movies Sean. that we have watched on this show, and not in a good way. Oh, wow. There's like Mean Guns and this. Oh, I damn. Think. Yeah, this, That's this high is praise. Worse damn. than Sharknado. That's high praise. <laughs> yeah. Just a worthless <laughs> piece of shit movie. <laughs> <laughs> Might not almost be as bad as Home Alone. No, that's that's <laughs> yeah, that's in a different uh, that's, sphere. That's just but for Colin, yeah. Uh, how much did you hate this movie, Holly? Uh, I I do not at, at this point in the week in the night. I do not have the emotional capacity to talk about this movie any longer. I I, I can't. <laughs> You're bringing me down. I can't. Wow, this, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oof. I'm I'm there, man. Good job, Sean. Sean broke me tonight. <laughs> oh, don't you feel I, ashamed of yourself? Nope, not at all. I feel good. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. You can't feel bad about the picks you bring, otherwise, you know, you don't bring I, shit. Uh, no. You gotta bring stuff. You gotta you gotta figure out. You just gotta do the whole thing shame. 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 I hear the squeak. Um, <laughs> no, I, I literally can't talk about this anymore. Hard fucking pass. No fucking way should anyone watch this movie. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Michaela. Sean, I need you to make eye contact with me for a second. <laughs> Who do you think, think you, you are? are? What <laughs> gives you the right? Gives you the right? <laughs> 
There's our third office office reference for the night, there guys. Is. Uh, there is. I was gonna do that, but yes. I totally forgot. Um, guys, this movie was fucking terrible. <laughs> this is the Sean. You go to hell. You go right to hell. Go to hell, and you die. Um, I'm sorry for the things I said about Samurai Cup. Like, uh-huh. I would gladly take a Samurai Cup over this because yeah. at least it was fun. Like, yeah. that movie was fucking stupid and incompetent, but it was fun. Yeah. This movie's incompetent and not original and just, <laughs> no, just fucking hard pass on this movie. Yeah. Sean. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! We got an hour conversation out of this movie, and that's How? more than I thought that we would get. I'm so happy that we got that out of this movie. Um, I uh, hope you're proud of yourself. I'm very proud. Yeah. Um, I brought this movie because uh, I mean because Severn Films is releasing it on Blu-ray, and because that means in the circles that I think that most of us follow, like I think that means something, like that a movie is given that attention is plucked from obscurity and given this attention and released on Blu-ray, I think it means something nowadays. And so not, I figured, not to me. That means n- not anymore. This is no, two well, strikes. All right, so. All right, so not anymore. All right. <laughs> but I th- to me, it means like, I don't know. I need to see what it's about because I've never seen this movie before we got to this. Um, but I need to, if, if it's something's going to be given that attention, I need to see what it's about. So I brought it here tonight to figure it out and to show all of you so mm. we could all figure it out together. Um, this you is, can uh, keep some things to yourself. <laughs> you can keep some stuff to you yourself. You, you know, just didn't want to go through because, this alone. <laughs> no, I because like, like, like we've always said, like, <laughs> this is this is uh, therapy. This is also a scientific uh, <laughs> experiment. <laughs> this is to bring it to the <laughs> you know. This is to find empirical evidence on what this movie is. Can how you kill about someone it. by showing them a movie? We almost if that's got possible. There let's well, let, you know. Let's find out and let's get there. <laughs> um, but this is. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, truly, uh, this is a just uh, this is a bad, bad movie. I don't. I understand why some movies get picked and put on Blu-ray, and that there's some kind of I don't know. There's some kind of hook to it, some kind of speciality to it. There's something that will draw an audience into it that will make them something of the story is maybe unique. It's different. You see something that so wild that you don't see anywhere else or just so fucking weird that you can't find in a different movie. And that's why they find these movies, um, polish them up and release them to the audience. Like roar. Here you go. You're never going to see that. I'm, oh no. I, know, I, 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 might, I would love to. I would, I've seen parts of it. might want to watch that. Yeah. Because it keeps getting mentioned here. Yeah. And honestly, um, the story behind it is probably better than the actual movie. Probably. But, but still. Another but then we, Moreau situation. Oh, no. People were actually maimed yeah, by animals in this movie. Shit. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It's just, it's not good. But I want to, I want to see it. Yeah. Would it surprise you if I told you I own it? I no, know. I know you are. That's why we're talking about it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> shocking dark. I mean, there's, uh. There's movies that have more of an original concept. I'll bring up uh, Kathy's <laughs> Curse as maybe a better example of, of shit that people don't like. <laughs> but uh, this is just, I mean, Shocking Dark is just, it's just ripping off way better stuff. And it's not even just ripping off obscure stuff that, you know, maybe we've heard of. It's ripping off Aliens and Terminator, like... Just go watch Aliens and Terminator. Like, yeah. why? What's what? Uh, you know, why would you? There's nothing extraordinary. There's no to waste your time <laughs> about this movie that does anything with. While it's stealing from those movies, it doesn't do anything better or different or unique or twisted or anything like that. That would bring you to this. It's it's purely trying to cash in on the name of James Cameron and Aliens and Terminator, and it doesn't. It just repeats it. In in a very low budget way, it's not good, um, but it's an it's uh, it's an obscurity that I thought needed to be brought to the freak show just to see it, uh, and it shall forever be banished to the freak show hell where it is never <laughs> never seen again, hopefully never talked about again because it's just not good. I'm so glad I didn't I didn't buy a Blu-ray for this. I'm glad I got to the Dodge point. I'm just like, well, this won't be down. delivered in time, so I can't, I can't do that. But thank um, God somebody stole it and pirated it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, in the worst quality. Um, but shocking, dark. There's, there's no reason to watch it. There you go. There's no reason to watch it. Mm-hmm. It just pulls 
from better there's movies. There's no reason and, to put yourself through that. There's nothing. There's nothing in it. There's no obscurity. There's no like, oh, there's a weird Italian twist on this movie that was made, you know, in America years before. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't understand uh, why it was. Maybe just because of how bad it is, people decided to turn this into a cult movie. I don't mm. know. Maybe. I mean, that's got to be the only reason, just because of how bad it is. But it's not. It's not bad enough. I don't think. Would you recommend it? I would not. Comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of on the fence no. there. With, I wasn't sure. No, if you were no, it's get, not bad enough. I can't. Uh, no, I will. You felt like out of spite. You might have done no, it. No, yeah. I'll. Uh, I'll never watch this again. I don't recommend that you watch to begin with. Yeah. So I don't, regret having seen it. Yeah. At all. Don't. Yeah. Don't same. Do it. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it needed to be explored, but after watching, it, just like I will, uh, will save the audience from it, and I'll say, do not watch. Shocking Dark. Okay. Well, uh, before we move on to our extracurricular activities, we're going to tell you what we're watching next week. And that's going to be a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. Yes. I knew it! <laughs> you were looking the other way. I did yeah, you, you weren't looking. I remember. That's why I looked the other way. Okay. Uh, so what are we watching next week, Michaela? S- Summer of Canon is mm-hmm. rolling on. Um, mm-hmm. We are going to pick a movie that I am ashamed to say I have never seen. Oh, I know Ooh. what it is. We're going to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre oh, shit. 2. I did. What? what? I've what? never what? seen it. What? <laughs> Oh, come come off it! I've I've Sean, met I've, I've, what? Sean, you don't ever you get to no, say that. Yeah. <laughs> what? He's just like I've seen a movie that somebody else hasn't seen. I've met it's Bill Mosley and I've never seen this movie. Wow, wow! All right, it's so, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Massacre two. two. Is that yeah. our first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? No, no, we did the we beginning. Did, yeah. did the beginning. Next generation. Next generation. Next generation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. next generation. <laughs> I okay. To be honest, I've only seen one. Se- I've seen the original, and yeah. the only sequel I've ever seen is Texas Chainsaw 3D. I've never seen anything in between them. Wow, this would be a good conversation. So next week. I have not seen it's, the remake. I haven't seen the beginning. Movie. I haven't yeah. seen Generate Next Generation. I haven't yeah. seen any of them. Ooh, it's so. good. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre two next week, mm-hmm. nice. and so that brings us to this moment. So you're wondering, like, why why do we need to devote some of our show talking about Halloween? Because some of the people on the show deal. are Halloween, <laughs> let's see, I don't even know how to say obsessive fans. We didn't even do it justice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Worship no. at the altar of mm-hmm. Michael Myers. Have, so, a, have a shrine have a tattooed, tattooed on her tattoo, forearm. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I thought I was a big Halloween fan, but maybe, I don't know, at some point maybe that has cooled because like there's been so many bad ones I'm understandable still a fan of the series you know I feel like it does I, 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 I feel like cool for me Colin no I feel like for like if you just like meet ordinary people would say that you and I are big fans of Halloween but yeah. then you meet Sean and Michaela <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, a whole yeah, new level yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's it's how many, yeah, how, it's how the best Halloween franchise. How many movies have I brought to this freak show? Like three of them. Three. Yeah. Yes, they were the worst ones. I was actually. But, still, but that's like, the point. Tempted, yeah. I, it ran out of time. I was going to hit you both up with <laughs> Halloween trivia and see like oh, how do we it. could actually. Oh, do I, it. oh, I don't think I could do it very oh, well I right do now. It, do it. Yeah. What do you got? I don't have anything. Uh, yeah. Do it yeah, for next no, no. week. You know I, what? It, look, I, do you see my look? This is my notes on just the trailer. Look, can we? Like, I have extensive notes and screenshots on just the okay. trailer. Maybe, so. maybe trivia will come up later on because you know we're going to. Bring we're going to cover it. We're going to cover it. We're yeah. going to bring it to the free sure. show. Sure. Let so. me try this one. In Halloween two, mm-hmm. right? Uh, the uh, damn it! No, oh, the, oh, the, yep. the oh, ambulance oh. driver, mm-hmm. right? It's say, who's little brother? What's the name of the little brother that goes? Ziggy. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> goes to school with Larry's brother. All right. There you go. There I did is. not yeah. know the answer yeah. to that. So yeah. I was just yeah. Yeah. little brother okay. Ziggy. Okay. So this trailer dropped uh, Halloween. The it's just called Halloween. Just called Halloween officially. Like Ryan Turek, one of the producers on the movie, mm-hmm. who's been uh, follow him on Instagram because he posts a lot of stuff. Instagram, yeah. Twitter, yeah. If, if you follow him on Twitter, he he posts the uh, pumpkin countdowns to whenever yeah. they're going to release something related to this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so there was a trailer for a movie that doesn't come out until October that was dropped today. And mm-hmm. I shit bricks. I know, because yeah. you had to rent out your conference room or lock yourself yeah. in your conference room at work so you could <laughs> Because I this. needed, like, because my luck, so, like, I will watch trailers for stuff all the time at my desk at work. But someone, I have gigantic noise-canceling headphones on that, like, 
like phone operator headphones, yeah. right? People will still come up to me in the middle of a trailer and like tap on my shoulder. It never fails. So that's why I was like, I cannot be interrupted for this one. I went in the conference room, projected on the Apple TV, put my headphones on and like even locked the door of the conference room to be like, <laughs> just like literally three minutes is all I need. Yeah, Please. Like I, need. I just need three but minutes. Really? Of, of, you need like, yeah, it was like, like a half hour. How many minutes. times did you watch it in a row? Um, like, on normal Fif- speed, fifteen. I watched maybe? it five times in a row. I have no work the, at work right now, I so I have nothing going but social time. Social media. I'm just yeah. like share, yeah, uh, post, and mm-hmm. do all this stuff. Comment on other people's yeah. things. It's like, what did you think? Oh, blah, blah. And just re- watching the reactions. Most of it was watching the reactions come in. Mm-hmm. I love when this stuff gets posted. I'm just like, what do everybody else think? <laughs> See, I stopped uh, watching those because I got very annoyed with the people constantly being like, "But wait, are they just ignoring the sequels?" It's like, where have you been? Well, where the well, fuck have you been? Well, people? that's the stuff I just scroll right past. I'm yeah. like, all right, you obviously aren't keeping up with this shit. So right. I have no time for you. The amount of people that have no idea what's going on with this movie. Yeah, I have me. no time for that. Yeah. That are, who are not up on this. So. I've been asked that today alone 15 times, maybe. Yeah. Been asked, wait, so this, so they're just ignoring the sequels? Didn't she die? And whatever. Even, I'm like, oh my God, where have you been? You know, I'm like, where times, have you been? But is that Ryan a Turk problem? Ryan Turk has been that, answering that question yeah. all day. That's what I'm saying. Is that it's got to be worse to be him. With this movie, then for the general audience, they're going to be like, okay, there's a new Halloween movie. And what, it's not the, for them. The, it's well, not for that's them. That's why they it's put for us. certain things in this trailer. Mm-hmm. They put the explanation that he is not her brother. That mm-hmm. was just something people made up. Right. Uh, and they also are just, I mean, it's not as clear to. The, the, the they walk have to and do talk a lot of, of work to eliminate eight sequels. Yeah, mm-hmm. from this timeline right now. But there's that whole exposition dump of like he got he was shot by his own. Yeah. Okay, honestly, and then captured and held yeah. for forty years. Honestly, I I really appreciated because I didn't expect it, and it hit me in a weird emotional way I did not expect. The whole he was shot by his own psychiatrist. When you characterize it like that, sounds really fucked up. Yeah, yeah. compared to what actually happened. Yeah. Which one yeah. was it, Sean? He was shot by his own psychiatrist. Yeah. I think it's H two O. It might have been. I mean, probably. Okay, well, yeah. there you go. You guys suck. <laughs> but when you turn it around well, like you that. don't know, you can't. Yeah. You can't I know they said not. that before. Yeah. <laughs> Guy was shot by his own psychiatrist. Oh, it's fucking Halloween 4. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Guy yeah, in okay, the yeah, elevator. Because you yeah. have to reintroduce. Good job, Colin. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. You have to reintroduce everything <laughs> in, after a movie where he's been gone for yep. the entire time. Right. Yes. Um, yeah, because that guy's awesome. The cop who takes him down the elevator. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a good guy. Yeah, that guy's good. This is, uh, I, I just, Jay Barry or whatever his name is. Before we get too much, yeah, um, the actor. Uh-huh. Too, too much you. deeper into this, um, I do think the trailer gives away too much information. So if you are really precious about that, if don't listen to us talk any farther. Go through it very slowly. You see one of the major characters get. Getting killed. Uh, that yeah, that's. Uh, but I just think the trailer shows the whole story of the movie. So I think if you really care about that, don't watch the trailer and don't listen to us talk about this anymore. No. Probably that not. being said, you've I been warned. Not, you've been warned. So I will not watch anything else mm-hmm. that is released for this. Movie. I've seen too much. I I would probably. Agree. I've seen so too you're much. Saying at this point, you would have rather not seen the trailer. Uh, no, 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 no. There no. was no way I was I not did, going to watch this trailer. I did it Shut to up, my. Colin. I did it to myself because yeah. I went and followed like okay, I followed a photographer that lived in that area where they were filming that was taking mm-hmm. onset photos on Instagram. So I went out of my way to like ruin this movie for myself. But I kind of did that as like if we I temper yeah. my expectations, maybe it'll be. We are not. You tempered. know, no, we're not tempered. <laughs> we're there's fucking sky high right now. Sky high. <laughs> this is, I guess, the thing. Like when they said that there it was like the trailer coming out, and you guys are like super hot on it like I gotta yeah. watch this trailer refreshing the, trailer. the page yeah. until it We're loaded we aware of yeah. when the release is going to be yep. okay but your enthusiasm for it I admit did kind of like well fuck I better I was in my car driving to work at the time I'm like shit it's coming out in 10 minutes <laughs> yeah I guess I better yeah. get there you like, better it's not get gonna there. be there you know later yeah. but I get to sit there and refresh okay <laughs> it'll be there for the next four months but you can yeah. get there to see it first Colin mm-hmm. but there was the kind of thing where like I really don't need to see the trailer for this movie I am pre-sold you yeah. know, the trailer I, is yeah. for someone who is just now like these people you're talking about who are unaware of like what's going on in the Halloween right. universe. Right. It's trying to entice them to go see the movie. Yeah. I don't need a trailer. I'm going that's to good, see the that's movie a fair point. because yeah. I am a fan of the series and this is how it you know works. Yes, but I also think that as seeing the trailer it adds an element of whether you should higher or lower your expectations. That's true. That's very true. You know, I mean, Sean and I like 
I, our expectations were so high. Like I, I don't think be disappointed at exactly. This point, yeah. Like yeah. Sean and I are gonna be the most crushed by this movie. Oh yeah, yeah probably. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're gonna. <laughs> no, hate I, it. I said this like a what, like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when yeah. we see this movie, you McKay- guys will love it. Kayla and hate. Sean are gonna be like, fuck this movie. We're gonna be like, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, and we said that before this trailer came out today, and then I saw this trailer today, and I'm just like, it looks like they're doing it right. It yeah. looks everything it looks, looks like right. They're doing things good. Yeah. It, they're doing things I want to see. I got a little misty eyed a little bit. I, at the end of the too. trailer, the first time, I was just like, "All right, I can yeah. watch it again." <laughs> this is amazing. Well, I, here's the, here's <laughs> I don't the, understand. God. Here's the perspective I'm coming at from this, and I've, I've I've explained this to several people online already today. That like, I'm coming from the perspective that I don't like as a female moviegoer I'm already really biased to this movie um, because I feel like horror affords me a lot more opportunities for awesome female characters than any other genre yeah. That's, it's always been that way it's probably always gonna be that way which mm-hmm. I'm fine with but to see this character that has existed longer than I've existed Lori has been around longer than I've been alive mm-hmm. that's crazy yeah, to sure. think about right yeah, yeah this is so, 40 years wow. yeah. this is the 40th yeah. yeah so this character that I have learned about since before my existence and grown to love I get to see her be an adult elderly woman mm-hmm. but like how often she's do you your see she's your Rocky is what you're saying yeah basically yeah. you can but, see a life live yeah but like at the same time she's not like a sweet doting grandmother she's a fucking Grey Gardens doomsday prepper badass yes. you know like yes. she's like she gets agency and she has like taken a turn that you would not expect for this character and this movie has three female leads which is fucking unheard of in any movie amazing and um, I, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the Strodes, like, you know, in any sort of context. But, like, it, seeing this movie makes me realize what I'm missing from, like, a lot of other blockbusters, like, you know, superhero movies and things like that, that don't afford me this kind of luxury of female characters to choose from. Mm-hmm. That's not something that ex- exists in other movies. And like I said, that's a bias I'm bringing to the table for this movie, but it, keeps, that, it keeps fulfilling that for me. So. You said that horror movies have afforded women to... The opportunity to take control of... They have agency, yeah. The, a, mm-hmm. Yeah, to have agency and, and maybe take control of... I mean, it is... I'm not going to say the horror movies have never... Uh, they, they've always been um, a, mm-hmm. uh, a version of uh, men identifying how they can exploit women. Because that's mm-hmm. always been a thing. But right. it's also like there's a big contingency of women... Like owning that, yeah, and using that to their advantage. Yeah, but a lot of that has been mainstream critics misreading horror movies. Ex- yeah, that's well, a good point. Yeah. That's a very because good point. They always seem to think that whenever you have a character, well, even in the first one, right? The big mm-hmm. problem with Halloween when it came out mm-hmm. was the same problem that critics had with uh, Peeping Tom and Psycho. That it was morally reprehensible to put uh, the audience in the perspective of the killer the killer in this point being male you know and having the the male gaze or Mm -hmm. whatever at these female characters but they seem to somehow think that like the filmmakers then are complicit in this and they hate women and like and i'm like have you fucking actually watched these movies exactly exactly like these movies are all about like you know like These women who they go through a uh, ex- this horrible experience and emerge these kind of uh, you know uh, right. warrior types, but you know the protagonist survivor you know, sur- mm-hmm. yeah. survivor type, yeah, you know. Uh, and I think that's the equivalent of like you know the equivalent is of Lu- mm-hmm. Luke Star or Luke Skywalker <laughs> Star Wars yeah. Star Killer. Yeah, yeah. 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 how many yeah. bears is this? Yeah. Luke Star Killer going yeah. through. Yeah. You know, it's like you have to go through that uh, baptism by fire kind of right. thing. I think like yeah. a horror movie gives the female uh, character that. Um, well, and here's the thing: they could, they could so easily make another Halloween movie, but not have Laurie be in it, right? Like, like I mean, they've done that a million. Sure. They've done they've that done a million a lot, times. Yeah. So, like, the idea that they're bringing, like I said, I cannot reconcile the fact that this character is older than I am. Like, this character, this fictional character, has existed longer than I've been alive. Blows my mind. Yeah. And then that I get to see her story complete mm-hmm. is a gift I could have never imagined being given. Like that is. It, this is what Sydney Prescott should have been in Scream Four. Absolutely, you know this. She should have yeah. been like, "I'm ready to I put an end to this shit, and I'm tired of it." Yeah. And she, you know, in her defense, in Scream uh, Three, <laughs> she gets to that point. Mm-hmm. She does. You're she, right about in, that. In Scream Three, she does get to that point. Yeah, and that's she all does. I'm going to say. But mm-hmm. she, does. she does get to a limit. Mm-hmm. In Scream Four, they're just exasperating the situation. She has no personality in Scream There's Four. There's nothing no, in Scream Four. But in yeah. Scream Three, she does yeah. get to that point. Book and t- um. 
I, I okay, so like like I said, I don't have a lot of work right now. So I've gone through frame by frame the trailer and like picked out some stuff because I had nothing but time. Why is there a pumpkin in the fucking fish There's tank? A, okay, I think the fish tank. <laughs> yeah, I think the fish tank is going to be our canary in the mines, kind of for what's happening in that house because there's the pumpkin in the fish tank at one point in time when the closet scene happens. The fish tank is the only light in the room. And then when you see Michael up in the window when Lori's down on the street, yeah. the, the only light in the room is the fish yeah. tank, oh, too. Okay. So Actually, I think the fish tank is going to be a key I'm afraid thing. of this conversation that we're about to get into now. I, like, I watched the trailer, <laughs> but I don't want to know too much. <laughs> right, because we're just, now we're just... <laughs> like I said, I've had nothing picking, but time yeah, to think about yeah, this. Everything. So. Holly, what would you think of this trailer? You watched it today. Oh, what I was did. your situation? Did you like close all the doors, turn the lights off? Have a religious experience? Yeah. No, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was I, the campus was pretty much empty today, um, so I was pretty much by myself. And because a lot of times I wouldn't have been able to watch it in my yeah. office just because there's people around, but today I was able to watch it. I was this the only is one. summer for you technically, isn't it? Well, it's the end of summer one semester. Okay. Summer two semester starts Monday. We still have classes all summer long, um, but there wasn't really anyone there today. And I was alone in my office. I was able to watch it. Um, but I, I was I was like you, Colin, where like ordinarily I was just like, yeah, I'm excited for Halloween. But like the more they talked about, it, the more I was like, yeah, I really want to watch this trailer. So mm. like they're a little when they're like, it's almost it's almost here. It's almost here. And then <laughs> 10 minutes. And then I got <laughs> our, our group chat was blowing yeah, up. Our group yeah. chat was insane. And then Michaela's like, it's up. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, I have to watch it now. And I was like in the, mid- in the middle of an email. I'm like, nope, you can wait. <laughs> like, I need to watch this. I was really excited. Mm. Um, yeah, no, I got goosebumps. I legit got goosebumps. He's. I was so excited. He's in costume and he's just walking around the town. Just he has the, he has the like knitting he needles. Just, on yeah. It's night. on Halloween. Yeah. He's yeah. just walking when around. When he runs the into town. those kids. The kid drops a pumpkin. <sighs> when he's he got a, he's, he's carrying candy kids. and a pumpkin yeah. and he drops it. Like yeah. He has the knitting needle hole in the side of his mask too. Did Does you he? notice that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really notice yeah. that. Uh, like I said, uh, I, had, I had nothing but time. Somebody pointed that out. Maybe it was you. And I know that was I know it's such a baited trailer moment, but when he puts the mask on yeah oh my of god see the closet scene is what got chills. me i knew it was coming but the closet right. scene i was like i feel my stomach dropping into yeah. my butt already oh, like it, well. I knew yeah. it was coming but <sighs> they brought in the yeah. this <laughs> I'm so happy. I know. There's okay. There was one. You're gonna be so disappointed. I know. It's gonna be oh, disappointed. It's gonna be because you were like a you were like it. It was gonna be awesome, and then you come on this show and you fucking say like yeah. it sucked. I hated it. I didn't say you didn't recommend it. You didn't recommend it. But I didn't say it sucked, and I didn't say I hated okay. it. I'm just like you didn't I know recommend it. It wasn't uh, what I wanted had, it to be because what you want, and I've yeah. this, Michaela, this is you mm. too. I think I recommended that movie. I loved it. I like it, but you're. Yeah. You're making you, this is, I think, a danger in the fandom. No, I know, and, but like I know it's a danger. A movie, in absolutely, your mind that, absolutely. That now this movie has. Oh, to I know, I know, absolutely. I will be devastated when this movie comes <laughs> yeah, out. Absolutely. That's why we need to document I know I'm this right my own now. Grave on this one. I know it. But <laughs> yeah. then, how can you? I mean, I, then so how long does it take after the initial? Because like, I get oh, right now, I get four months of the best movie I've ever yeah. seen in my. Um, head. We're gonna go through the five stages of grief. As yeah, soon as this movie are. comes out, there's going to be a lot of bargaining. Yeah. I know on my end, I'll bargain a fuck ton to like, ju- do the mental gymnastics yeah. of like why it's a good movie. <laughs> you All right, know? you'll be explaining to Yeah, I'll people. be trying to justify like, no, it to myself. Yeah, sucked, man. Right. You're like, no, 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 yeah. but he was actually... But you know what, Colin? Is- you know what's awesome? What? <laughs> there is the potential that they do it. Yeah, what do if it what? what if it is as good as we think oh, it is? Yeah. There's the potential that they do it. It's a small chance, but, but what if it is? That they make that movie. Yeah. That whatever uh, that they do it. See, that I guess they, I protect myself uh, mentally on those kind of things a long time this ago. This is a franchise I where I can't. I've always I, gone yeah, with I just like, can't. This one. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've been burned so many times ah, so this often. This is just in a franchise where I can't. Like, I can't. Yeah. I expect I, it to be bad. I am vulnerable <laughs> to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially after this trailer. Like him. Yeah. Like all I've ever wanted was I want Michael Myers walking around Haddonfield on Halloween just. And for it to actually look like Halloween. But that's actually happened. It was called Halloween. Halloween four. I know, and there I love that movie. A little and bit I love of that in movie. Halloween too. I love yeah. those movies. Yeah. Okay. But 
Well, you after, see that again. Halloween four the thing is, in Halloween our five. lifetime, we never thought we would get another one, and we're getting another one. That's that's where, at least for me, that's where a lot of the hype comes from. It's been like nine, you get another Halloween movie. It's been nine years. Like I okay, I Colin, do you realize <laughs> how old I am? You do you realize are, that like I didn't have good ones growing you guys are up, totally right? The like old woman from Titanic. <laughs> yeah, it's been yeah. eighty years. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Just trying. That's to right. Wait, Michaela, how many of these have you seen in the theater? Um, two. Okay. Do you want to guess what two of those? Yeah, exactly. So I was alive for the. Yeah. I was alive and. I mean, I was eight when H two O came out. Well, when six (laughs) came out, I was I was old enough to see the trailers and be like, I need to see that. Mm -hmm. I want to go see that. Please let me go see that. Mm Because at this point, I think my my uh, dad had brought home Halloween on VHS. Is like y'all need to watch this. Mm -hmm. And so me, my dad sitting (laughs) on the couch. Today, I did. My dad sitting on the couch, and then was me, my three brothers sitting on the floor close to the TV watching Halloween as I scared my brothers through this whole thing watching that. So you know, started with that, and just like, Mm -hmm. yeah. Holly, how many of you? Have you seen in the theater? I think I saw one. Which one? Which one? The Halloween the 2? bad one. Rob Zombie? Yeah. I oh! Think that, yeah, I think well, I saw that one in the theater. Okay, so I'm yeah. a little bit jaded because I've seen... Uh, a bunch. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't live through any of that, so... Halloween 4 was the first one I saw <laughs> in the theater, but I'd it's seen... good one to see. Uh, yeah. Two and then one out of order on TV. A two so, is the first one I saw. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Because that's the one that plays on. It played on, U- night, it played like, on yeah. USA all the time. Yeah, yeah. And that's the first one I saw him walking through the yards as yeah. the one woman, the girl who comes on is like, is because the neighbor screamed because he was in the house. Yeah, like, it's the first thing I remember about Halloween. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I tell you what, this is what I'm looking forward to in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like, because I, I was thinking, like somebody was asking me today, because everybody at work, of course, is like, I'm the horror guy, right? So, like, <laughs> right. what did you think? Did you see the Halloween trailer? What did yeah. you think? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, I don't know what you could have done from a plot angle that would, like, excite or impress me. Because basically the idea is we got to get these characters back in play so he can go after them. And then I'm like, what my expectation is, is that we're going to find out how good the director is at staging scenes that are, A, cool, B, suspenseful, Mm. and C, deliver, you know. And if you can hook a bunch of those together... Then you are either better or worse than other movies in this franchise, or then and then you start comparing it to other movies in general, sure. and that's where you go like this was a great horror movie because it's better than most of the other ones, mm-hmm. or it's a good horror movie, or it's a good Halloween movie, mm-hmm. right? There's yeah. a lot of levels to compare it on because, like yeah. you said, is it a good horror movie? Mm-hmm. Is it a good Halloween movie? Like you, you have to judge it on those levels. Yeah, here's yeah. what gives it like a little bit more credit to me than than most trailers I've seen. Granted, sure. like I said, uh, yeah. we're basing this on a trailer so it could be yeah. you know like especially because we're in the culture now where trailers just show scenes that don't even happen in the movies so we could right. all be basing yeah. this Very on true. you know um, th- to me the best horror experience is, is when you as an audience are being horrified by something that the the character in the movie has not realized yet um, we've talked about sure. before how insidious like the, some of the scariest scenes in that movie are when like Rose McGowan is doing things and doesn't even realize the like horrible things that are happening around her and that you see that happen in this movie several times or in the trailer at least you see the kids run into him on the street and they don't even know who they're running into you see the closet scene where she has no idea like how many times guys I do that go through that with my closet like every day <laughs> of like where it won't shut oh, all the so way close. you know and I'm just like you know just these people <laughs> these people were like you as a as a viewer are like oh my god you're so fucked but like the character has no idea how fucked they are that's the best someone, kind of horror I like, saw someone on Twitter who says like if I lived in Haddonfield my door wouldn't close I'd fucking move the fuck yeah. out of Haddonfield yeah. I'd be done I'd be gone I'm just like I agree and also there was a scene when I was going through my frame by frame analysis there was a scene where um uh, Lori was in her doomsday prepper basement with uh, her daughter Judy Greer and Judy Greer was wearing a Christmas sweater and I was like wait 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 how many months does this like mm. go over or is, or is it just like these are the clothes we have in the basement I like I, I really was confused by that like she's wearing a, a straight up like knitted Christmas sweater standing next to Lori in their basement I'll have to go more mm. frame by frame yeah you'll see it it's <laughs> it's and I or was like just wait Sean just wait until I don't, don't ask yourself these I questions can. because this is going to put you off in like this. Is it Christmas? Is there a it's time jump in the movie it's where not, it jumps into the. Uh, Colin, it's not Christmas. 
I doubt it. Go- I doubt there's a time jump. I well, think this whole movie takes place over like three days max. It'd be like a flashback or something. Well, I'm gonna guess. I don't it know because like when Halloween. she's. Because when that I'm scene happens, she's all loading all the all gun all. and she's giving that whole like he's waited for him, I've waited oh, yes, for me. You're right, like you're right. that's she Judy Greer's wearing a crystal. I have a it's screenshot. You guys want to see it? Right. <laughs> you're right. She is. She's wearing something that's very vibrant and red. Let me find it. Hold very on. Very true. Yeah. Because they do. They go to the close up of her and they mm-hmm. go back. Yeah, right. it's like like Lori's standing in the middle, Judy Greer's off to the right, and there's some dude off to the left yeah, who I, I assume is Judy Greer's husband. I think it's yeah. Her husband, yes. Yeah. What do we think about the there's a scene where Lori's standing in the road and she sees Michael in a house? Yeah. yeah. I love I love how she's yeah. ca- just taunting him too. Like <sighs> But he's love looking it. in the mirror and everything and she shoots and yeah. obviously he hits a mirror and everything. I, I <sighs> Yeah, that's obviously a mystery. <laughs> I just love him wandering around an old, like, just Illinois town yeah. in the middle of Halloween. Mm. Just, now you're going to have to watch every other Halloween movie every day until Halloween comes out. Well, maybe. Would it have been better if it was called Halloween Returns? It needs a different title. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the I title. Don't I don't like I don't. having two movies with the same care. title. No, no, it's always Suspiria confusing. Suspiria is bugging me. Like, I'm a fan of Suspiria. But that's a remake, that, so it's different. But it's just weird having This isn't a remake, two, though. So know, it's but different situation. It's yeah. weird yeah. having yeah. two of those same sure. movies out there. With right, the but, like, I mean, technically we already have two Halloween movies because you have Rob yeah, Zombie's Halloween. So this is the third Halloween movie. I'm like, fine with that. I don't give, I don't give a shit. I have a problem. Like, I don't, you're okay. forgiving that because you're like, coming so from the perspective the of someone who worked in a DVD store. I have a problem with it. <laughs> yeah. From the, yeah. from right. the perspective right. of someone who has a customer who comes in and says, "I want Halloween," and I have yeah. to ask a million more right. follow-up well, questions. I mean, if you look yeah. at like look no, it's at Halloween 2018. Yeah. Look at the well. Look at the new Ghostbusters movie when that got released on. It has a subtitle Blu-ray. though. It's answer, answer the, the call. call. Yeah. Like look at that. So they're they're doing that for everything, but yeah. Sure, Halloween Returns. They should just call it Halloween, Maybe. like something, something Halloween like that, forty years later. I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, I know you had H two O, H four O. But I'm at this point, I'm like, I'm not, I don't that care. Really I it, this, it's <laughs> you what? That doesn't really work. <laughs> it's called H4O. Halloween H4O. thing. No, it's not a right. thing. I'm just like, uh, I'm okay. I, I don't care. Whatever they want to call it, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, I guess the point, point of this is uh, you saw the trailer, and we're saying that. Uh, well. I'm not entirely sure. Holly said she was excited yep. that she enjoyed. You're going to go see the movie. Oh yeah, that I'm was a foregone conclusion. We're probably all going to go see the movie. We may do. We're, we're talking. It may be the 300th episode of the Saturday it Night Show. Well Who could knows? Be. Probably. It'll, it'll come close. Yeah. If not, we're going to watch 300 movies in one night mm-hmm. and uh, talk about that for our celebration. Yeah. It's coming up. Yeah. It's in yeah. October. Uh, but otherwise, you're saying that uh, it's yeah. uh, you. D- you recommend that people watch this trailer. Uh, I would say, I would say, if you if you're very spoiler phobic, don't watch the trailer because like watch it a I bunch feel of like it gives away slowly. too much. But if you want to talk about it in like near pornographic detail with me, D- you know, D- you know D- just just DM me on Instagram. I will gladly. I will write a fucking dissertation also, on this trailer. I'm also in the pornographic area. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, just like we can discuss it. Yeah, it's just fine. just message me. I will um, gladly talk. To you guys about I, it. I also don't want to see anything else ever. Yeah. Until this movie comes out. Yeah, I'm cut off at this I, point. I'm yeah. done. Like I saw this trailer. I'm I'm good. I want I don't want to see any TV spots. I don't want to see any more images. I'm done with everything in this movie. I want to see this and that's it. I'll wait till the movie. I, I don't will skip believe everything you. else. No, I, I'll yeah. skip oh, everything I, else. Yeah. See, I say that, but I follow. Exactly. I, was like, I, you I know you're so saying hard. these are empty promises. You. It's so hard. I, I follow Andy. You have no Andy. self control. So you will right. watch we follow everything. Everybody. We, follow, we follow everybody who's going to release this shit because they want. I follow. To go see well, I was gonna it. say I follow Andy Matchiak, who's the, who's yeah. who's Alice and the the granddaughter of Laurie Strode. Yeah. Movie, and she's got like five thousand followers on Instagram, so no one. So she posts crazy spoiler stuff all the time, <laughs> uh, just because like no one's. Get, that's how she's gonna yeah. get people to come to her account, right? Yeah. So like. I'm just like wow. I could probably I just DM don't her want to and know talk that to her. Much you know? about, like, yeah. I, I actually yeah. do want to go in and have some kind of. I feel like this is you know, the last thing I want to know. Just seeing the trailer is probably spoiled too much because up I'm until now it's been people. like we don't even know what the movie's about. We know she's old. Yeah. And he's out of the. You know, the um, British film crew is only that there was the, 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 that's there for yeah. the beginning of the movie. Colin, they die at that point. I'll bet you. <laughs> I, I, you knew it. You I just, feel like the scenes we saw in the trailer is it for them. That is that's it. it. Yeah, that's, that's it. all there the is teeth, of them. 
Yep. The teeth being dropped. That wet. That's it. They okay, all that, die at that point. Congrats to the Foley artist because that wet plop of those teeth hitting that bathroom floor was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then he yeah. bangs his head against the fucking door. And is he wearing the mask at that point? No, not yet. Uh, not not yet. Yet. no, 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 not, not at all. No, no, no. He's not. He's white haired at that point. No mask. Because they throw it yep. away because they're disappointed they don't get the fucking interview. And, oh, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna ignore that all that just happened. Why would you want to know that much about a movie? Why would you even go we see it? We get a Halloween movie because because it has to retcon eight fucking sequels. That's why you have to, in some way you kind of have to watch it to get where it's picking up, I yeah, think. Yeah, but I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. The, the the extrapolation of scenes that are in the trailer and building the entire movie before you go to see it, it's like, what's the point of going to see the movie? I would because, because if the, you guess everything that's going to happen. Because the general public wants that spoilery trailer. But because the general, the general public, public has to have that to understand that what's once. happening. They're going to watch it once and they're going to go like, man, the footage looks good. It looks kind of creepy. Michael Myers, I remember him. I'll go see this Halloween movie. No, I've seen I the other ones the, or whatever. the general audience is like, fuck yeah! Because I've talked yeah. to people and and I've had people comment on shit and just mm-hmm. like, yes! But they said that when the uh, Rob Zombie one came out. And then went and saw it. it yeah. yeah. And then they went that movie the made a lot one. of money. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, because these people don't know any better and they will go see because Halloween movies. Michael Myers is an, one of the great movie boogeymen. And yeah. you, all you got to do is put him in a movie and people go see it. Well, until well, yeah. you kill it with, uh, you know, like Resurrection or Six. Or Halloween 2. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, just I, whole, I would say you watch. kill the whole vibe in that movie, but. Mm, okay. yeah. I would say watch the 10 second teaser with like all the clips and they're like, he, uh, like I've waited for him. He's waited for me. I would yeah. say watch that and be yeah, done. Just watch just that. Just watch and that. Be like, you get enough from that. that it's it's going to be hard. Hard to just watch that and then wait four months. Well, mm-hmm. everybody who's listening to this has already seen. Oh, mm-hmm. Everybody who's listening to this has already seen uh, the trailer. The trailer, yeah. multiple mm-hmm. times. Probably. Yeah, I would think so. Just mm-hmm. know that we're very excited. Yeah. All right, we're very excited. Mm-hmm. You're very excited. So very excited. Mm-hmm. Stay so tuned, and maybe we'll go see so, Halloween. Yeah, happy. stay tuned. A couple months. Halloween's yeah, we'll, coming. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna see that shit. Halloween yeah, is coming. Be- it's it's re- be, re- re- we've reviewed three of them already on mm-hmm. the show. So yeah, this doing? will be number four. I, I suppose it is going to be ho- my pick. Hopefully, hopefully the best one. Hopefully, hopefully. the best oh, one. Oh, out of the ones we've, out of the ones we've picked. Yeah, yes. yeah. Out of the ones oh, we've we've done. I would say yeah. the likelihood would say of that it's is probably guaranteed. Yeah. 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 Well, Buster Rhymes isn't kung fu fighting anybody. So. No, but that's a disappointment to Colin. Yeah. <laughs> he loves Buster Rhymes. I know LL Cool J is the security guard, right? Yeah. But uh, I mean, oh, Buster man. Rhymes is Colin's. Uh, oh, spirit I, animal. Yeah, spirit, spirit animal. animal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, just, yeah, yeah. it's what he needs. No, he was the hero of that movie. I don't care. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. I think he was actually quite the opposite. He had the glow. In the actual movie. <laughs> he did not have the glow. You take that back. Uh, so that's our episode for tonight. Ladies and germs, so. thank you for sticking with us all the way to the end. Thank There's you. nothing extra for Hopefully you here. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Yep. And so until next week then for... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Join us then on Saturday Night Free Show. Until then, the basement is going dark.